there. We'll be able to find the first goal of this game for St. Clair. Yeah, Jay off to a nice start there, is looking to find the back of the net for the Saints. Just as you were saying, we'll drop this one down, and it is going to bounce in. See, I'm trying to find their names there. I see Tokyo and Broken are the other two players for them. Cough looking for Sean, and then he's going to find it with a flip off the ground. What angle was that? How did he find that angle? Yeah, I, I and no clue there. That is going to be a beautiful shot coming in. Look at that, just trickling through the bottom line of the net. Yeah, and it found well. this goal fairly late in the game. We are still, yeah, there's two minutes left. That's still a good, good amount of time, but you're over halfway through, and St. Clair's now trailing. This is looking very good for Valleyfield, but Jay on a shot oh, drops so it down. Good. We'll find the goal. Beautiful plays from Jay using the backboard as a fourth player. A great response here for St. Clair, and that's exactly what I wanted to see. Make sure that Valleyfield's going to put one in. You no, know, I mean, even even what Stax was just saying that, you know, when you think about Northwood, when you think about the team in the past, Lion Blaze is definitely one of the first names that you think of. And so to see him starting here today, definitely Definitely feels good if you are Northwood. They're break. Oh, they are not holding anything back. But look at that. St. Clair finds a beautiful double touch from Jay, and they're going to put the first point on the board. At Jay, excellent air control. Even actually, you know, he actually got bumped by Lion Blaze. Seven boost between them, and it's still causing pain. Comp. Oh, that's a nice touch oh, out there. And the it is. bump. Comp has been brilliant. Jay will score a hat trick. <laughs> But this physical play from Comp, he gets the touch, and then coming off the Ooh. backboard, getting the bump Try to on drive that one up and across. Jay, with a beautiful boost and a disruption on that play, is going to allow Comp to have a little bit of pass between them. Back over to Spoon. Oh. Wonderfully done. Line Blaze tries to go in for the save, but it's too little too late. Oh, this was this was crazy. Comp with the delayed flick. Lion plays doing everything he can. Comp, focus. If you can shut down paper, that'll be absolutely massive. Come this next search and destroy because he is really the only person that's threatening them so far. I think Saint Clair just be able to win a lot of these gunfight streaks can come through here as well for Priestley. Going to try and find two here. Is he going to get it? Yes, he will. He was also going to win that gunfight, and that's going to be it. Sauce going to take him down. So but Saint will be taken down, though, by Gorilla, who found the two-piece there. Sauce going to get the execution. Or I believe that was, yeah, yeah, the was Sauce finding the execution on the paper there. And four-piece for St. Clair. They are going to try and hop back onto this point, but they aren't going to be able to quite on it. Sauce is going to keep the Chico going to walk up the ladder and see an unfamiliar face going to try and slide back down. We'll get is some sight control and possibly get the bomb down. Wombat will whiff on the blades from so that'll be a little good, little bright side for the side of Hilltoppers. He will still find Case. Blossom will find three. Short will take him out. He's still alive on the ground, so could be revived if need control with a couple ultimates, but I don't suspect they'll probably use it again. Yeah. Their executions on sites have just been so good. There's no answer for Casper. Oh, no. Waiting for Jersey. He sees the gun. Oh, no. He sees that. Oh, no. He's no, going Casper, for it. No. He's going for it. Casper. Oh, he's going for it. Whips no. out the butterfly knife. Can he find this no. one? So long? Oh, he finds the head of Jersey there. Here and engage at first chance. Will be smokes coming down here. We'll be able to get them down and run away before he gets go down. But Wombat going to find one. Wombat going to find another. Going to dash through into heaven here already has gotten on site so quickly they are not expecting this one wombat gonna find a third as well just going to be as left not gonna be able to get the shot though hybrid somehow on that jump found I'm, the edge i'm shot. pretty sure he just 360'd him i'm like 99 percent sure that hybrid just jumped and spun because i saw that soba cape twirly proposition here for oakland yeah, this is kind of interesting. I guess we're going to get ourselves one of the most like nerve-wracking series. He had two goals up, and now oh. two goals going the other way. Go oh, up my there. goodness. Forget the deadlock. It's not three to two, St. Clair. Wow. Unbelievable play here from Comp. A beautiful double touch. That's wonderful. Off the path. Ross able to play it away. Two minutes left to go in game number two. Oakland again finding themselves behind, and they're going to be down two. Oh, uh, that was just a self-fulfilling prophecy. The last clear was kind of like a wolf pack clear. Everyone wanted to make sure that ball was sent outside, but doing that pretty much on the far side of the net, unmanned. So far, and now Northwood White taking the 3-1 lead now. Just under two minutes remaining in this game. St. Clair, a little bit on the back foot so far throughout the second half of this game. Comp looking for an opportunity here towards the middle. Guys nice bump there in the oh, mid, and it is going to result perfect. in a Spoods goal. Comp doing all the work, Spoods. Gonna get all the glory there. You saw that beautiful touch there, as well as the bump onto Riker and Spoods. It's just gonna tap it into the empty net there. And uh, St. Clair pulling within like, one. Riker with a chance here. Isn't gonna be able to get a second touch, though. Jay gonna be able to turn that one away. Ambrosia gonna go for the shot, but going to be stopped here. Comp not gonna be able to get that touch either. We'll get the second touch, though. He's gonna oh. find that goal. I don't know how he was able to get that aerial through, but he somehow 
manages to do it here. Misses the ball on the first touch, actually. Let's call that intentional. Well, intentionally misses the ball, surely. Intentionally misses it. Riker, Riker. Fast to Spood. Spood's going to go for the aerial here. Gets one touch, but Ambrosia going to be able to clear it. Okay, pass towards the middle. Comp with a chance here. He's going to strike it, and he's going to find his second of the game right into the bottom corner of the net. Beautiful shot there. St. Clair clicking on all cylinders now. Comp oh. beats two players there. What a touch. Touching the pace on St. Clair right now. I swear they've had seven or eight golden opportunities in St. Clair, whether by luck or by skill, have been able to deny them so far through the first three minutes of OT, but you got to start putting together a chance of your own. Demo will come through. That's Jay with a shot on That's that. It. Massive demo by Spoons, and Jay will close this one out. St. Clair with a huge win in game five with all the theatrics you could ever ask for. And another demo is gonna end this game. We saw it a couple Down weeks ago. On the backside, and the gold lead is all too much here for the Orc Lions. It's a valiant effort on the backside from St. Clair. But they do not have the stats. They do not have the items. And now Ricky Lafleur. He is strong, but he is just a sign. He's gonna get kited and CC'd out here for the rest of this fight. Uh, unlikely to escape, even as he walks away, if York decides to take him down. The question is about the Baron. It's actually flashing away now from the return Zephyrah. God, it's actually early into this game. We forget as how far ahead York is at just 28 minutes because Zephyrah was able to spawn. Doesn't even matter. The lead is going to get his third proc of Gore Drinker of this fight. He will actually oh, go down. down for a thousand gold shutdown to a Quanthony. Nicely done there. And still fighting. Uh, is a quantity Zephyrot down to one HP. Ricky Lafleur, it's a double kill. A quantity will fall to the ace in the hole. What a chaotic fight! St. Clair staying. Uh, he can still take care of mid lane though. Uh, in the mid lane one v one, and the uh, this is just Kali things. The one and four Kali without a mythic item gets solo kill. Henrik is dead. Oh, is he? Wait, is he yes, Ricky. No, he Come on, Ricky. <laughs> no heal cut. He's got him. What is got that? Him. Oh, or, it's, or whatever it's called, the ape. PMR life shield item. You know what I'm talking about. He's got it. You probably can't kill him. And oh, the blast cone over the wall gets deleted. And oh my, oh my lord, the shields are there. And he's going to try to get first down, but he's still alive. He's still sustaining. Okay, he does drop 900 down. 900 shutdown, but Verge. Oh, Verge is going to clean up this fight pretty easily. Delete all with the Onslaught of Shadows. Does get the CC there, but it isn't quite enough there. Peter's trying to make something happen, but he is a little bit late, so not in range to really get his damage. Omero, go down this Baron buff and push. He'll get clawed in. There's a lot of follow-up at the moment. Ooh. There's a lot of appetite for it for St. Clair. They need to attack the face of the Baron. Though Ricky is, he's just fearless, man. He's just walking in. He knows there's no combo on Omero. And uh, yeah, maybe he's going to go down here. Ricky is just absolutely dominant. Peter going to get a kill on the backside, but he's in melee range. He's definitely going to die here. Ricky's just going to get a quadra kill by practically standing still. And who? York Lions cannot do anything about Ricky LaFleur. And it's a great punish by York Lions. Yeah, it's uh, looking pretty rough right now. But Ricky is still alive. And when there's a Ricky, there is hope. Yeah, Quanthony going in. Three. Yeah, okay, but he's Ricky, he's a mid four. This could be very dangerous for York. He's looking for the first kill. He's going to get the bonus stats. Now he has to walk on back. His teammates are dying. Peter Zazima has already used the Inferno trigger. Here comes the second kill for Ricky. He's going to go into the stopwatch. Still has his passive ticking. He's going to get a third on Hades. They can't kill Ricky. That's four. No, he, has flash. no he can't get over the wall. He's looking for it, but there's no way for him to chase down Omero. But you just can't stop this man in the top lane. Taking his turn up. Nice cast. That's going to reposition Sephiroth, who has to flash immediately. A lot of damage being taken by Fresh. Ricky in the middle of four. He's going to go into the death room to buy time. Oh my god, he does so much damage to Omro. Needs to get a kill, though. He is kind of alone. He needs to pop the stopwatch. And they can't oh, no. kill the Ricky. Shield. He's still alive, this man. He's going to get the second shield. Can he get three? Can he get four? Ricky LaFleur is absolutely unstoppable. A triple kill for Ricky, and he sent St. Clair into Raptures. They're going to take the series. Mustangs do have the early advantage. Wombat will be on the Blade Summer. We'll pick up Kira. So him and Blossom trying to hold this A very aggressively in case the Mustangs try to get anything pushed in here. So Wombat going to be holding this cross of Blossom. Going to whip the first night. Blossom is there to trade out the perfect position. Oh, we'll get three on the back of the Blade Storm. Distracting. Absolutely. Oh, one of getting a pick on Talklum. Getting the spray on Nibble. He will get picked up by Credible with the Bulldog. Stakler getting run on site. Blossom picks up one, finds another. 
Well, five, three shuts down the blade. Oh shot. my oh, god! Five, four drops Credo four in a row for Blossom, and St. Clair takes the round. I'm just not Say sure I'm too yeah. confident in the retake abilities here now. St. Clair's post points are already through. They do some damage. Casper will get an early click. Now you have oh. a player advantage. Now you have a two player advantage in a five on three. And the Mustang's still looking to do what they can to open things up. But Casper's Guardian is just firing on all sailors. No way. No way. Shoot. I, I swear if he finds this one through the smoke or anything in that regard. The Guardian's still here getting some good use, though. He has a couple players pushing towards him. There it is. Here's another, maybe. There it is. The ace with the Guardian headshots. Casper gonna put the scoreline to 11 to 3. Around them as they'll look to build up. And as it breaks out, like you said, the SMG is tearing apart every single other person as he gets a guac. Dude, he literally just moves through the wall and then Ooh. mows down the teammate. Vexy and serious. Okay, lads, I get you. You guys don't mess around. If you see a team, there is no hesitation. Uh, tumultuous situation outside. 100% here and well speaking of which it does seem like Sirius is in a bit of a rough position as well their teammate has gone down with oh. a lot of duo <gasps> still remaining they're gonna have to pull something out they'll pull out the first elimination can they get the next one they're just going for the thirst they don't even care about trying to get an elimination they just want to focus Ooh. on ruining someone's day and they might have just done that to Ranster that's who they just put the damage onto and as we mentioned Ranster doesn't really have health items what? to play with but maybe Sirius maybe they're not just gonna spoil maybe they're gonna win this it's a 1v1v1 Three solo players around now. It is hyper awareness war themselves here in this game. Speaking of establishing themselves, hyper awareness. Oh, oh no! I was gonna say he popped into the top ten with his performance last game with a second place, but they will not be able to repeat. And someone who is looking to not just repeat, but to really take this one by storm is gonna be Sears and Vexy. Fifth. 15 eliminations in this game. These That's guys, cool. like we said, yes, they want to take second place, but they want to even be in contention for first place at this point here. So they want to keep on fighting and oh, they're going to have to try and survive. Sirius gets rolled up on. Who'll take out Jackie Moon though? Quick one, two, and they're going to send another player packing. were all the superstars of that league of Karakas that they had. So it's very, very interesting here. Now, we are the second of the game. A couple shots coming through. Jay with a shot on net here. Can he get it on that? Yes, he will. He's going to slide Woo. in the left post there. We'll be able to find the first goal of this game for St. Clair. Yeah, Jay off to a nice start there. Is looking to find the back of the net for the Saints. Just as you were saying, we'll drop this one down. And it is going to bounce in. Here. I'm trying to find their names there. Garcia, Tokyo and Broken are the other two players for them. Paul's looking for a shot and then he's gonna find it with a flip off the ground. What angle was that? How did he find that angle? Yeah, I and no clue there. That is gonna be a beautiful shot coming in. Look at that, just trickling through the bottom line of the net. I and it found will. this goal fairly late in the game. We are still, yeah, there's two minutes left. That's still a good, good amount of time, but you're over halfway through, and St. Clair's now trailing. This is looking very good for Valleyfield, but Jay on a shot oh, drops so it down. Good. We'll find the goal. Beautiful place from Jay using the backboard as a fourth player. A great response here for St. Clair, and that's exactly what I wanted to see. Make sure that Valleyfield's going to put one in. You know, you I mean, even, even what Stax was just saying that, you know, when you think about Northwood, when you think about the team in the past, Lion Blaze is definitely one of the first names that you think of, and so to see him starting here today, definitely feels good if you are Northwood they're bring oh they are not holding anything back but look at that St. Clair finds a beautiful double touch from Jay and they're gonna put the first point on the board at uh, Jay excellent air control even actually you know he actually got bumped by Lion Blaze seven boost between them and it's still causing pain comp oh that's a nice touch oh, out there and the it is. Bump. comp has been brilliant Jay will score a hat trick <laughs> But this physical play from Comp, he gets the touch, and then coming off the Ooh. backboard, getting the bump Try to on drive that one up and across. Jay, with a beautiful boost and a disruption on that play, is going to allow Comp to have a little bit of pass between them. Back over to Spoon. Oh. Wonderfully done. Line Blaze tries to go in for the save, but it's too little too late. Oh, this was this was crazy. Comp with the delayed flick. Lion Blaze doing everything he can. Comp! Focus, if you can up. shut down paper, that'll be absolutely massive come this next search and destroy because he is really the only person that's threatening them so far. I think St. Clair just be able to win a lot of these gunfight streaks can come through here as well for Priestley. Gonna try and find two here. Is he gonna get it? Yes, he will. 
He was also going to win that gunfight, and that's going to be it. Sauce going to take him down. So but Sink will be taken down, though, by Gorilla, who found the two piece there. Sauce going to get the execution. Or I believe that was. Yeah, yeah the execution. Was Sauce finding the execution on the paper there. And four piece for St. Clair. They are going to try and hop back onto this point, but. They aren't going to be able to wait on it yet. Sauce so is going to keep this one. Chico is going to walk up the ladder and see an unfamiliar face going to try and slide back down. Will get some side control and possibly get the bomb down. Wombat will whiff on the blades from so that'll be a little good, little bright side for the side of Hilltoppers. He will still find Case. Blossom will find three. Short will take him out. He's still alive on the ground, so could be revived if need control with a couple ultimates, but I don't suspect they'll probably use it again. Their executions on sites have just been so good. There's no answer Guys, we need to do it in waiting for the jersey. website. He sees the gun. He sees that. Here. Oh, no. He's no, going Casper, for it. No. He's going for it. Casper. Oh, he's Rona? going for it. Whips no. it off. Can he find is, this no. one? Yeah. Oh, oh no. He finds the head of Jersey there. Engage at first chance. Will be smokes coming down here. We'll usually get them down and run away before he goes down. But Wombat going to find one. Wombat going to find another. Going to dash through into heaven here already has gotten on site so quickly they are not expecting this one wombat gonna find a third as well okay just going to be has left not gonna be able to get the shot though hybrid somehow on that jump found I'm, that i'm pretty sure he just 360 him i'm like 99 percent sure that hybrid just jumped and spun because i saw that soba cape twirling proposition here for oakland yeah, this is kind of interesting. I guess we're going to get ourselves one of the most like nerve-wracking series. You had two goals up, and now oh. two goals go the other way. Go oh, up my there. goodness. Forget the deadlock. It's not three to two, St. Clair. Wow. Unbelievable play here from Comp. A beautiful double touch. That's wonderful. Off the pass. Raw's able to play it away. Two minutes left to go in game number two. Oakland again finding themselves behind, and they're going to be down two. Oh, that was just a self-fulfilling prophecy. The last clear was kind of like a wolf pack clear. Everyone wanted to make sure that ball was set outside, but doing that pretty much on the far side of the net, unmanned. So and far, Northwood White taking the 3-1 lead now. Just under two minutes remaining in this game. St. Clair, a little bit on the back foot so far throughout the second half of this game. Comp looking for an opportunity here towards the middle. Nice bump there in the oh, mid, and it is going to result perfect. in a Spoods goal. Comp doing all the work, Spoods. Gonna get all the glory there. You saw that beautiful touch there, as Whoa. well as the bump onto Riker and Spoods. It's just gonna tap it into the empty net there. And uh, St. Clair pulling within like, one. Riker with a chance here. Isn't gonna be looking at the second touch though. Jay gonna be able to turn that one away. Ambrosia gonna go for the shot, but going to be stopped here. Comp not gonna be able to get that touch either. We'll get the second touch though. He's gonna oh. find that goal. I don't know how he was able to get that aerial through, but he somehow Manages to do it here. Misses the ball on the first touch, actually. Let's call that intentional. Well, intentionally misses the ball, surely. Intentionally misses the Riker, Riker. Fast to Spoods. Spoods going to go for the aerial here. Gets one touch, but Ambrosia. Maybe did to clear it. Okay, pass towards the middle. Comp with a chance here. He's going to strike it. And he's going to find his second of the game right into the bottom corner of the net. Beautiful shot there. St. Clair clicking on all cylinders now. Comp oh. beats two players there. What a touch. Pushing the pace on St. Clair right now. I swear they've had seven or eight golden opportunities in St. Clair, whether by luck or by skill, have been able to deny them so far through the first three minutes of OT, but you got to start putting together a chance of your own. Demo will come through. <laughs> That's, That's it. That's it. Massive demo by Spoons, and Jay will close this one out. St. Clair with a huge win in game five with all the theatrics you could ever ask for. And then Hunter demo is gonna end this game we saw it a couple Bell weeks ago. on the back side and the gold lead is all too much here for the orc lions it's a valiant effort on the back side from saint Clair, but they do not have the stats they do not have the items and now ricky lafleur he is strong but he is just a sign he's gonna get kited and cc'd out here the rest of this fight uh, unlikely to escape even as he walks away if york decides to take him down the question is about the Baron is actually flashing away now from the return Zephyrah. God, it's actually early into this game. We forget as how far ahead York is at just 28 minutes. Zephyrah was able to respond. Doesn't even matter. The lead is going to get his third proc of Gore Drinker of this fight. He will actually oh, go down. down for a thousand gold shutdown to a Quanthony. Nicely done there. And still fighting. Uh, is a quantity Zephyrot down to one HP. Ricky Lafleur, it's a double kill. A quantity will fall to the ace in the hole. What a chaotic fight! And Saint Clair staying. Uh, he can still take care of mid lane though. Uh, in the mid lane one v one, and the uh, this is just Kali things. The one and four Kali without a mythic item gets solo kill. Henrik is dead. Oh, is he? Wait, is he the yes, Ricky! No, he Come on, Ricky! This. No heal cut. He's got him. What he is got that? Him. Or, or whatever it's called, the ape. 
PMR life shield item. You know what I'm talking about. He's got it. You probably can't kill him. And oh, the blast cone over the wall gets deleted. And oh my, oh my lord, the shields are there. And he's going to try to get first out, but he's still alive. He's still sustaining. Okay, he does drop 900 down. 900 shut down, there. but Verge. Oh, Verge is going to clean up this fight pretty easily. Delete all with the Assault of Shadows does get the CC there, but it isn't quite enough there. Peter's trying to make something happen, but he is a little bit late, so not in range to really get his damage. Oh, Moreau. Uh, Go down this Baron buff and push. He'll get clawed in. There's a lot of follow up at the moment. Ooh. There's a lot of appetite for it for St. Clair. They need to attack the face of the Baron, though. Ricky is. He's just fearless, man. He's just walking in. He knows there's no combo on Omero. And uh, yeah, Hades going to go down here. Ricky is just absolutely dominant. Peter going to get a kill on the backside, but he's in melee range. He's definitely going to die here. Ricky's just going to get a quadra kill by practically standing still. And Ooh. York Lions cannot do anything about Ricky LaFleur. And it's a great punish by York Lions. Yeah, it's uh, looking pretty rough right now, but Ricky is still alive. And when there's a Ricky, oh. there is hope. Oh, yeah, it's going in. in. Yeah, okay, but Ricky, really he's well. a mid four. This could be very dangerous for York. He's looking for the first kill. He's going to get the bonus stats. Now he has to walk on back. His teammates are dying. Peter Zazima has already used the Infernal Trigger. Here comes the second kill for Ricky. He's going to go into the stopwatch. Still has his passive ticking. He's going to get a third on Hades. They can't kill Ricky. That's four. Does he have flash? No, he can't get over the wall. He's looking for it, but there's no way for him to chase down Omero. But you just can't stop this man in the top lane. Taking his turn up. Nice cast. That's going to reposition Sephiroth, who has to flash immediately. A lot of damage being taken by Fresh. Ricky in the middle of four. He's going to go into the death room to buy time. Oh my god, he does so much damage to Omro. Needs to get a kill, though. He is kind of alone. He needs to pump the stopwatch. And they can't oh no. kill the Ricky. Shield. He's still alive, this man. He's going to get the second shield. Can he get three? Can he get four? Ricky LaFleur is absolutely unstoppable. A triple kill for Ricky. And he sent St. Clair into Raptures. They're going to take the series. Mustangs do have the early advantage. One, but we'll be on the... Everyone of them down. That's a full team kill. That's that's another. He's looking for a third. Oh. He's gonna get it. Not the kill. And Vastek's gonna find it. Oh, he finds that drop. He finds two. Nice. He's still alive. Can he go in? Oh, oh my god. Goodness. He's gonna go bar down and give Saints the lead again. Hello, Saints Nation, and welcome to tonight's broadcast, or today's broadcast, yes. I guess I should say, as your St. Clair Saints will be going up against Northeastern yes. University here today. This is going to be a very, very good matchup here in round number four of NACE Star League playoffs. Yeah. All of these teams currently sitting in the top 16 and are battling for a top eight position. Ooh. Jobin, how are you feeling about these matchups? March Madness continues yet again for the yep. NACE Star League. St. Clair right in the thick of it. They do have a pretty, I'd say a pretty tall task on here. This should be a really, really good team. Northeastern, they, the record shows they've been a pretty strong team so far through the playoffs. Yeah, so when I was actually looking at things, they did get a round one buy here in playoffs due to having a 16 yeah. seed, so they did not have to play in round one of playoffs. Since then, though, they've been wiping the floor. 2-2-0 two, two, oh, victories, one of which over Queens last round on the Sunday last week. Uh, Saints has have 2-0'd two Queens before, though, yeah. so I think this is going to be a fairly even matchup. Yeah, and say, St. Clair, they got pushed to the limit the last series. That 2-1 to one series yeah. was a nail-biter back and forth, so they have been in those dogfights, so I really like they did get that little bit of adversity they had to go through look for them to come out really really strong i cannot wait i cannot wait either here for today it is going to be very very exciting we've been looking forward to this one all week oh, yeah. you know they tell us on sunday we're not going to be continuing playoffs until saturday so we gotta wait five days just sitting oh. here uh thinking about it of this game here against northeastern um but i'm very excited for this oh, one because yeah. personally i think it can go either way like yeah. I, I, this game is literally a toss-up yeah, and when you get in these tournament-style brackets, it is truly March Madness. Like, anyone could beat anyone on the mm -hmm. right day, so you just have to come out, and you have to make sure you come prepared because both teams definitely have to be ready to come out swinging.
Yeah, so we do have our map selection here for today available for you guys if you would like. And that is on your screen here now. Ascent Bind Haven is going to be the map selection today. Ascent, your Saints will be starting on offense, I yes. do believe. Yep. And then they will be heading over to defense on Bind. I'm not 100% sure about Haven. I think it's actually they're gonna, them starting on offense once again. Yeah. Uh, but overall, I think these three maps are maps that Saints are very comfortable on. Yeah, this is a pretty standard fare for Valorant. Ascent Bind Haven, three of the, the more original maps in the game. We've seen St. Clair got a ton of experience. I'm a little disappointed, no Icebox. I really, really wanted to see yeah. some icebox in this March Madness bracket, but I would definitely take these jumps. Saints, really good familiarity. We've definitely seen a lot of pop-offs on these maps, so the familiarity aspect, definitely good for the Saints. Yeah, that is definitely what they are looking for here. So we should be hopping an agent selection in a few moments yes. here as these teams are all readying up. But man, this is a, a very, very important matchup. So if they do actually win today, move on to the top eight, I'm fairly certain they do play again tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. Yes. So uh, there is so much here on the line and ready to go. I believe it is also top four teams get paid. And I believe it, it goes 4,000, 2,000, 1,000, 1,000 are going to be the prize pool. So if I'm if I'm correct on that one, it's, there's a lot on the little line extra, here. A little extra motivation. I didn't, yeah. I didn't realize there's going to be a nice little prize pool. So if you're saying clear, so both these teams, pride aside, I wanted to move on. Put a couple bucks in your pocket too. That'll money. Money is the true motivator, man. No matter, especially with these college kids, man. You put a, you put a couple thousand dollars in front of these guys, and they will do anything to try and get that. Hey, man. Think about all the McDonald's that could all, buy. All the Uber Eats. <laughs> yeah, exactly the case. But what are some things you're looking for here in today's matchup for the Saints to be successful? I'm looking for more continued. The two man game from Casper and Blossom. Blossom, especially on the Sky and on a map like like these are three maps where Sky is almost invaluable, especially on I think Bind and Haven. So I really want to see Blossom pull out more of those Sky Flashes. Casper has been playing unbelievably on Chamber. So yep. I want those two to keep up what they're doing. And I want we've been seeing much higher assist totals from the Saints. I want the rest of the team to just get them those easy kills and set them up. Because when you set those two up, they can pretty much two man. Yeah, so we are going to be hopping into Agent Selection here, and it looks pretty similar from each side. One thing I will say, though, pretty surprised that we do see the side of Northeastern not pulling through a Chamber. You see Chamber yes. so, so much in all of these games. Obviously, they still have time to switch things around a little yeah. bit, but you see Chamber so, so much. It doesn't even matter on what map, because he's so versatile and so valuable on everything that I'm very surprised not to see it. It looks like they're going for a little bit more of a setup that like we might have seen like, three, four months ago. Yeah, exactly, because Chamber, he honestly gives you almost the same value as a killjoy. You can put those trademarks, you can pretty much block off a site with two slows, and you can use the rendezvous to teleport back to either middle or off site. So Chamber has honestly filled the role of two to three different agents. So the killjoy pick still definitely solid. The lockdown, we, there is no, actually there is a Hunter's Jury. Hybrid will have the Hunter's Jury, so the lockdown might not be able to find as much use because killjoy, as much as I love her, she's definitely fallen a little bit out of the meta as far as everything goes. So surprised to not see a Chamber, but I'm sure they got something up their sleeve. Yeah, so Northeastern on your left and St. Clair on your right. It's going to be Northeastern starting off this defending round with their pistols. And it is going to be St. Clair starting things off with pistols as well. <laughs> but yeah. from the offensive <laughs> different side. Pistols possibly. Yeah, different pistols possibly, question mark, maybe. Um, but we might have a little bit of a problem with the lobby. I'm not exactly sure exactly what might be happening. Uh, but with that being said, it's looking like we should be hopping into things here fairly soon. Y'all made lobby, right? Okay, well, uh, I mean, hopefully things are looking fine. I don't know if uh, we're going to have to get this game to end and actually restart. Okay, so they're, they're talking about it here right now, but I think that we should be fine. I think we're ready Whoever to go here. Whoever loses pistol will definitely ask for a restart. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> sure. But with them, as soon as, like, one kill comes through or something, I believe they're not going to be restarting anymore because of the fact that, you know, they've already asked for a restart. Yeah, exactly. you got to say yes then or you're not getting it, right? Yeah, so they had 10 or 15 seconds. Two there, picks there. in favor of Northeastern favor. Off to a great start. You're going to see Tempest find another one. The defense over here towards B, so strong. Wombat, Vcan, finding trades, 2v3. Yeah, St. Clair getting pushed off a little bit, able to find some of those trades. They are end up getting spiked down on B, so... Going to be a little 3v2 retake for Northeastern here on Pistol Wombat. Going to be sitting backside with the friends. He's going to have the help of, I, I can't, don't remember who it is exactly, but Northeastern. Going to have Ionize on this Sheriff. Definitely a very dangerous position, especially for a Jet player, St. Clair. But if they try to play time, Smokes will come down on either side of the site. Northeastern will try to find some way. KO Knife will come through, trying to get a suppress. He can. He's going to have to swing a couple people. Paranoia will come through. Won't get a tag. He won't get a couple tags. He won't get a capture. The headshot won't get headshot by Sin. Wombat tries to find oh. the frenzy. 
Just not enough bullets able to hit it. Northeastern on the back of Sin's three kills takes pistol. That's the thing with the frenzy, right? I mean, it doesn't even matter if you're looking at it to a player's back. Sometimes that spray pattern is just so inconsistent yeah. with it, and it's hard to tell. Sometimes it benefits you, though. Yes. Like, <laughs> this morning, I'm swinging out of an angle, and you just get one random frenzy yeah. bullet hitting a headshot on pistol round, and there's no better feeling than that. Uh, but just not going to happen there in that one. So it is going to be Northeastern now eligible for a half-decent buy, mainly consisting of Spectres and the Marshal. St. Clair on the other side of things, though, looking like they're not going to invest a whole lot into this round. We yeah. do see Wombat spend 600 with a shorty and 400 on the light armor. But to be fair, Wombat has found so much value yes. with a shorty and light armor as of lately uh, that you really can't complain about that. Yeah, I, I questioned it the first couple times, but he has made me a full believer of him playing that short corner shorty. So Wombat, full pressure. Kevin's will actually get the shock dart kill on Blossom. So really, really good lineup. A really good start for Northeastern. Able to get a really quick kill and take out Blossom and taking out that KO as well. That's huge. You can't suppress any of these stops. Now Wombat is going to dash on. He's going to try to find something walking around B-side here. Won't get the swing. What are, unable to hit the shot. Kara will find two after takes with hybrid as well. So Northeastern once again drops the spike. And now Casper low health as well. So Northeastern coming out swinging to start this round. Yeah, they are going to be looking for Casper back in spawn. Sin knows he's here, spots it out. The shots are through. A kill may be coming in, but a reload is forced, and Casper will fall. It's now leaving it all up to Vkin in mid on the open play. He has one kill. That is so big. Even if it just doesn't really change how the round outcome goes, it helps build your economy and takes down the opponents. And it's going to be him trying to find Carrot, but Carrot for a 3k on the round, and Northeastern will lead 2-0 over your Saints. Playing the battle kill, Dre, running up on people, so not traditionally kill, Dre, you're going to sit back and just play those turrets and those alarm bots, but Carrot pushing the action and making this presence known, getting that double kill coming out of market and then cleaning up with the third of Northeastern looking pretty strong here to start the game. Yeah, it is looking very, very good here for themselves. Now, if we do see things, though, the buys are going to be a lot stronger yes. for St. Clair. Because if you're Northeastern, you're not going to like just drop these Spectres on the ground. You're not going to get rid of this Marshal. Yeah. No, you're going to make sure you just have enough to go into the next round. So if Northeastern loses this one, I don't even think they're going to be that upset about it. Knowing no, yeah. they don't have this good weaponry. Uh, but St. Clair should really be looking to take this one away. And the Tempest is going to swing early. DK and Akash will find a couple kills. So Northeastern playing pretty heavy offense. Bloss will get the crossfire through him. Gets the headshot on capture. Garrett going to try to place his turn and get back through Garage, but Northeastern looked like they tried to catch St. Clair off guard, and St. Clair was pretty ready, and that was a pretty nice counter punch. Yeah, the KO on Northeastern, that's going to be Sin. He's also tagged down to 47 HP, which is not going to be the start you're looking for. It's going to be very hard for him to try open up an angle with so little health. I mean, a couple bullets, and you will go Spine down. Planted. So here we go. These two players now looking to take away some of the rifles of St. Clair and maybe build an economy for themselves. The drone here will get some intel, so Carrot's now position revealed. They are going to have him constantly be getting tagged up. St. Clair, this should be their round to take. Yeah, 4v2, KO half HP, Killjoy only on the Spectre. So they should be able to theoretically take this. Carrot is going to try to through heaven. He can look at the kill. We'll find two, actually, to find three for the round. And St. Clair with an extremely strong push there, able to take the A site, get the bomb down, and pretty much walk out of there flawlessly. Luckily for Vkin, one health and a dream yeah. stays alive <laughs> and uh, will keep his rifle. So that is looking very, very good for St. Clair now, bouncing back. And it's going to be Vkin 6 and 2. I didn't Ooh, even realize. Geez. Oh the my moment, the goodness. Place. Yeah, it's looking very good for himself. I mean, obviously Casper Blossom, Wombat Hybrid, you'd like to see a little bit more of them, but it's way too early to even say yeah, that. Exactly. Uh, it, you know, we're only three rounds in. You don't get a kill on the pistol, and then you're on a save, so it's just really hard to rack up kills at this point. But Vcan for a stellar round in that most previous one for the side of St. Clair. Let's see what they can do here now once again. It is going to be the Chamber of Casper way on the back line looking for Ionized. Here's the swing. Casper will not get shot, luckily for himself. Ionized will not land the shot. Yeah, Ionized taking that operator, and once again, and pushing through garage the northeastern they know that a lot of teams like to push to that garage and make an early play so you try to get a little utility or at least make your presence zone so you want to either force them to the a site or try to get them catching or try to catch them crossing through mid looks like sinclair is going to try to stock up on a carrot will get scanned out so going to try to defend through three here but we'll have to give it up the omen smoke blocking his vision completely couple saints stocked up on a one couple still through mid as well so a little bit of a slow pusher trying to bait with some utility trying to see exactly where northeastern set up and then Gonna try to figure out some way to entry here, it looks like, any moment. Yeah, it's gonna be St. Clair. That's the biggest problem right now. It's so hard in Valorant to find entries without, like, almost guaranteed losing one of your yeah. players' lives. Um, so we will see what they can do here now with this one. Hybrid getting spotted out over towards Tree isn't the best of bets. He also is util very valuable that he cannot use right now yes. due to the KO knife. And now here we go. St. Clair is gonna have Wombat Blossom coming in from this angle. Hybrid and Vcan trying to come in through tree. And here he goes. Wombat's up and above. He's in the smoke. Capture. Good for one on the Blossom. A trade will come through for Wombat. But Vcan goes down to the turret oh, of Parrot. No. That is one of the worst ways to fall.
That is the best Thanks. feeling if you're a killjoy. The lockdown will actually get activated well. Hybrid gonna try to shock dart it out, but lockdown still online, so gonna have to try to figure out. Same look at the kill on Hybrid will find Tempest, but five seconds. This lockdown is gonna be. It's gonna go through. Casper trying to flank in heaven just outside of the radius. Sin will drop Hybrid, so the lockdown will go through. Casper will not get detained, but he is in heaven. Gonna try to have to walk through. Bomb is getting defused by Ionized. He will stick to half. Casper have to try to make hero play here. Finds one. Will he find two? He does. Finds two and stops to defuse. Jet will stick to the views on, able to stop wow. Casper, just unable to get a push, but on the edge of our seat, Northeast enables to squeak that round out. I respect Ionize for that. Yes. When you see both your teammates fall, the first instinct is to hop off that bomb and to do something about yeah, it. Yeah, eagle Right? Peak. But if he does that, I guarantee you Casper wins that round. Yeah. I mean, if Ionize did, did not stick that bomb, that's a Casper round win in the 1v3, but no, a great stick. Pros don't fake. Yes. We say it over <laughs> and over and over. Um, but that is going to put another round on the board for Northeastern here, here now. So 3-1 scoreline after the first four, and it's going to be... Casper Here. trying to come up there and help out Weekend a little bit more, but the big thing is just trying to see, you know, from these uh, jets and whatnot, but Blossom, big flash will take out Ionize. I think Ionize maybe went to pull the trigger and just got killed because it looked like he had a shot lined up and just maybe the trigger didn't get pulled in time. Weekend will find an offsite, so 5v3 early advantage for St. Clair. Weekend low on HP, but none the matter. St. Clair does have a pretty good advantage. Wombat will swing and capture, will win the gunfight, wins a 1v1 duel. Northeastern now down to 4v3. Blossom going to try to peek up through here. A-Main going to try to get some intel out. St. Clair, he's got a couple of his teammates over near mid, though, so I'm not sure. He's alone with the spike. A couple teammates walking up through tree. It is being held by Northeastern, so they might try to get a push through. Capture is on that paranoia. It looks like trying to blind the Saint. Will blind. Probably three Saints, but gets crossfired through the smoke. Headshot hybrid finds it. 4v2 for St. Clair. They do have sight control, and they will get spiked down. So when Wombat actually fell over there towards main, I really do think that he was trying to just jiggle peak heaven, but then he was really not expecting an yeah. omen to be like right up in his face, and the omen will take him down. It's going to be a kill for Northeastern, but St. Clair now in a 4v2, making it a 3v2, as Sin will find one. A big knife is actually going to take out Hybrid on the Sova. That's a big piece of utility to get out of it. He's going to be flashed. This might be a kill for him. Oh my goodness, Casper has to reload in the gunfight. It is all left up to Hybrid, and they know exactly where he is. Hybrid gonna get KO-nated out under hell. Tempest is gonna stick the defuse. Hybrid can't peek it because the nades are, but he's got to do something. Bomb is getting defused. And once again, the defuse is stuck. So back-to-back -back rounds are Northeastern. Just getting the defuse and squeaking away. And that was just a hybrid. We'll find the kill leads to take the gun out, but that was just a series of unfortunate events for St. Clair. Yes, yeah, so uh, not the best of situations that you were hoping for there if you are from the side of St. Clair. But if you look at things, look at how low the money is over towards Northeastern. You're going to have to see Capture, who's down to 2,900. Tempest is stuck onto buying a Ghost. He's going to try to switch things up. Maybe goes to a Frenzy here now. But this is ultimately a pistol buy from the side of Northeastern because St. Clair was able to get all those kills under their belt. And actually, St. Clair is going to have an advantage in this round when it comes to weapons. Yeah, they do have two rifles. The Bladestorm will come online for St. Clair as well. So gonna try to find some some uh, use of that as well. Casper gonna try to get garage. Gonna be blocked off by the nano swarm. Carry and Tempest both holding cross. We'll get great tags on Tempest, but there is one more right to the right. Killjoy holding that short angle with the ghost pretty much as well as you can hold that gun. Ionize gonna try to hold through mid hybrid. Gonna swing on him possibly. The suppressed will come through, so they do know where he is now. So St. Clair trying to collapse on tree and garage here. Casper will get the kill on Tempest. So good start. Ionize will hit him out. Three Saints fall in the span of one second. All the headshots and all of a sudden. 4v2 advantage for Northeastern. Bladestorm still online, but St. Clair gonna have to try to figure this one out. Yeah, I truly do think that these attacking rounds are really the killer for St. Clair here in this one. It's so hard for them to find these entries right now. Blossom finds one on the Sheriff. Wombat will go down to Ionize Vandal, and it's now a 1v3 up to Blossom, but it's the man, the myth, the yeah. legend Blossom. If you want anybody in a 1vx scenario, it is Blossom. He did a 1v4 last Sunday. What do you got for us this weekend, Blossom? He's gonna fire off some Sheriff shots. Will not find Ionize. Ionize with the 3k and a defuse from Northeastern. A 5 to 1 game here now. St. Clair really starting to probably have to get concerned. Yeah, they're they're finding a decent way to get onto site and get the plan down, but they're just getting there's these times of the round where they get five or ten seconds where they just either fall apart or they lose some utility or something goes wrong. And we've seen they get entry, they get a couple picks, maybe the numbers are even or even in their advantage, and they just kind of let it slip. So they have to figure out how to get that re the re-entry or try to use that second wave of utility to keep Northeastern off the site because Northeastern, once they get that re that post plant, they are just taking sight back. Yeah, that is exactly the case. So six rounds through, we're about a quarter of the way through our first game here now, and it's going to be 
Northeastern dominantly in the lead, but look at this. Ten rifles. I don't even think we've seen this once this game yet. No. Maybe only once, <laughs> but yeah, ten rifles all on the flank field at the same time. And that's actually going to be a huge play. I did not even think about how 200 IQ, a flash, and a Sova Dart together would be. Yep. Gets you so much intel because it can't shoot the dart away because they're all flashed. Yeah, suppress flash dart. You literally cannot do anything except for either eat the darts or walk away. Sin will get the kill during the null command. Blossom falls. Wombat finds two with headshots, though. 4 HP, gonna try to find one more. Oh, I'll find a third, takes out Carrot, so Wombat. 4 HP, able to clear most of the site capture. We'll get the wall bang on hybrid. Still 4 HP, dashes away, still alive. One left in Boathouse, two will fall. No command will go down now, so the res won't come through. Wombat, 2v2, is gonna need some help on site. Only has 4 HP, and he knows one's in Boathouse. One Casper enemy such remaining. a good cutoff, but it was really a lot of reliance on Wombat to find the kill on the capture. Now you do see Casper pushing out. He runs into the first turn and burn. No, Ionized will be able to get the kill. Uh, just half HP. That's a tough one to lose if you're St. Clair. Really, I think that was a four on two, and they just weren't able to keep control of the scenarios. Yeah, the four HP, you knew it put Wombat in a really tough spot because you know he wants to peek, especially if he thinks he's going to have the angle. But just uh, the way Valorant is, that spray, man, one bullet catches you and you miss that, you miss that headshot. The fight loses. I think it was, yeah, Casper unable to hold the cross angle, and then St. Clair just once again unable. The second half, like, once it's the middle to the later part of the round, they just seem to not be able to work together to get the kills they need, and Northeastern has taken full advantage so far. Look at Blossom and Killjoy, or uh, Kale and Killjoy, rather. Heavy you want to play? play. Let's play. Yeah, we will see here now. It is going to be a little bit more of a split push coming through for St. Clair. They have two players going up and in towards tree. One player holding Ooh. back mid, and then one player in garage. That's going to be Wombat finding capture. And now a five on four here way. in favor of St. Clair. It is going to be VCAN making his way mid, getting very aggressive and getting quite the map control here actually as well. Wombat from above on the knives. Oh my goodness, look at that jump up. Yeah, from off the top of the stadium, Wombat was trying to find a couple of the knives. Kaonade, welcome to INI, still holding with this operator, so very, very dangerous to St. Clair if they want to try to push. They do have the Torta Force and the Blade Storm, though. Sin going to get a couple tags through mid. Going to find the headshot on VCAN as well. VCAN sticks around a little bit too long and Sin makes him pay. Hybrid going to drone out tree and try to find KJ Turret. Will snitch on Karen. Will try to find a kill. Will get Blade Storm. Wombat actually found two with the Blade Storm. Got three for the round, though, so St. Clair. 4v2, they do have Psych Control once again. Hunter Stray will come online. We'll get the tag on Hybrid. We'll find the second tag and kill him. Bomb will not go down. down Wombat, you have to plant the bomb now. Hunter Sherry did get burned, so a couple ultimates online, but Saints are going to have to try to hold this site because Northeastern has storm back every other time. I truly don't know how some people are so good with Sova and the Hunter's yeah. Fury. Like, it is so hard to learn those, uh, you know, certain spots that you should be lining up. There's four for Wombat. He's looking for the ace. It's a 2v1 chamber. And Wombat here, it's going to be Casper and Wombat to make up plays. Wombat looking for the kill, does not find it initially. He still wants this ace badly. And the shots are in, he gets some tanked out, he pulls out the Blade Storm. Sin is still up here. Sin finds the first. Oh no, this is getting scary for He's Wombat. Need it. It's for the ace. And no, Sin will find it on a 4k. Two 4k's in that round from each team. But it's just too much for Northeastern. That's going to be 7-1 to one after 8. Wombat pulls out the Blade Storm. Completely forgot he had it. So genius idea, but unable to land the right click. Went for all the damage at once there. Northeastern just able to walk away. Sane on this KO has been insane. I guess no pun intended, but he has been absolutely critical. I think he's clutched up like 3 or 4 rounds to them already. This guy has been a problem. Yeah, so we are going to be seeing a timeout here. And surprisingly... This is from the northeastern side, so there might be a tech difficulty, or yeah. there might be a little bit of just an issue of some sorts yeah. here right now, or maybe just needs to pee. You never know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you never know, man. Like you could be in the middle of a game, and next thing you know, it's just like, hey, like I'm not playing to my best of ability. I gotta go to the bathroom. Go yeah. to the bathroom, man. Take your time out. That's what they're meant for, right? So, yeah. um, we are gonna see a little bit of break in action here now. But Sinclair has to put themselves back into this yeah. game because otherwise, it is looking like a northeastern game one, unless they can find some of more of these attacking rounds. They need more than one attacking round. Yeah. Um, and if they can't do that, I'm just very, very concerned. And I think that this game number one is probably going to go in favor of Northeastern unless St. Clair has something to do about it right here, right now. Yeah, Northeastern, we said they have a little bit of an older style comp, but man, teaching old dog new tricks, that comp still absolutely rolls. The Killjoy has actually been invaluable. On Ascent, it is a very, very strong pick, so not super surprising, but Northeastern, the way they've been able to chain everything together, the Hunter's Jury able to get that kill. Like I said, it's so hard to play Solva like that and just to play, look and make that look effortless with the Hunter's Jury, able to stop the plant of St. Clair. Northeastern just finding a way every single time St. Clair seems to have some advantage and then they just rip it away from them. Yeah, so should we, be, we should be getting ready to hop back in the game here in just a moment. And there we go, right back into things. And it is going to be eight rounds through. We got four more in this half. 
And it's going to be St. Clair looking to find as much of them as they can. You gotta find at least two. Northeastern guarantees himself at this point a minimum of a 7 to 5 half. Ooh. Blossom, good entry frag. Carrot, though, back with two. And that's where you have to trade him out. Yeah, that kill drag is an absolute oh. anchor. Beacon will end up getting the swing on him, though. So 3v3. Bladestorm will come online for High Knight. So, gonna try to find something here. Sin, once again, middle round, finding a crucial pick on Casper. St. Clair will get bombed down. It will be a 3v2. The Bladestorm is online. They do have the Hunter's Jury, but Hybrid not really in the spot. Use the Hunter's Jury. Hybrid will shut down Ionize midair after the kill on Beacon, though. So it is a 2v1. Did get some did get some use out of the blade storm there. Hybrid. Gonna get pinched from tree and from heaven. Sin gonna try to flash out. Second one will flash hybrid. He knows where he is now. The info is there. They do have the hybrid number. Hybrid will fall to Tempest after the dart shot. And now Northeastern goes up eight to one. I'm not gonna lie though, I really did like how Hybrid played that there, yes. where he used those two Try green boxes it. as his coverage from Tree, and then before that, he was just really gambling that the Tempest would not just peek right over yep. Raptors. <laughs> and I do think that is the, your best bet in that gunfight there. Uh, Hybrid tried and played off to his best, just not able to land those headshots onto the player, but that is going to now be eight to one in St. Clair. You gotta win these last three. You yeah. gotta, you gotta yeah. force an eight to four half. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't come out with at least two of the next rounds and turn this into a nine to three, if Northeastern hits that, that ten number is like the golden yeah. number in Valorant for the first half. If you hit ten, I'd be hard pressed to remember more than a handful of games I've seen across the two years of the game being out where the teams come back. So you do not want to get them get to ten. Sin is gonna try to flash for early into Garage. Really good lineup. We'll flash Ionize as well. So we're gonna put him back a little bit. Hybrid gonna send the Owl Joe to try to scout out. Suppress will come through. We'll pick up a couple of the Saints. So they are privy to the Saints being through Garage, Ionize once again playing the super aggressive short angle gonna try to swing on Casper, they might get into a duel here Ionize in the swing, Tempest will win with Casper, Blossom finds a kill on Sin Wombat will actually get the headshot on Karras so not too bad for Sinclair winning that trade overall and now they are gonna try to pinch your sight here Ionize will take out Hybrid, Tempest trying to get shots to the wall, the recon dart will tag out Ionize actually found two, finds three with headshots and now there's just one Saint in market Blossom goes down and 9 to 1 yeah, he was tucked away in that little corner there. Um, and honestly, that is such an underrated corner. Like, it is still very Every commonly game. checked. Yeah, it, it's still very commonly checked. However, when you're playing at this level and St. Clair already sent a drone through Garage and didn't see him in that corner with the drone, they really had no clue Ionize was there. And it allows him to get a 3k because Saints are just not expecting him to be sitting there. Yeah. And next thing you know, all of their backs are turned to him. Ionize will find some very much value in that round. It's going to force St. Clair onto a half buy or a late buy where Northeastern is on the full buy. St. Clair is playing right now to force this one to a 10 to 2 half. They're yeah. not really playing to win out the half. No, yeah, you're playing for literally anything at this point. You're grasping that Draws. They do have a couple. That shot there will actually tag up a couple of the Saints. So once again, excellent shot there uses by the Silver from the side of Northeastern. Saint Clair gonna pop the no command to try to push in. Vcan will fall the capture. Capture finds two. Will take out Hybrid as well. High Knight holding in market. Will tag up Wombat pretty severely. Casper and Blossom will find a couple kills back site though. So Saint Clair still holding on here. But look at the HP of two of them. Just absolutely low. Blossom and Wombat are very very low carrot. Holding this mid, trying to catch a swing. We'll see a couple. Won't put any shots, though, just hide for the time being. Yeah, that's the thing with the scent. You don't really play it with a healer. So uh, when you do get in a situation like this, it's pretty bad because you have, look at the chambers now lit too. Everybody oh on St. Clair's down low. Blossom will get cleaned up from a swamp grenade. Wombat has a player coming right behind him. I'm not sure how much Wombat will be able to really keep his life over here. Uh, but really, actually, nobody immediate in danger. There's Casper, big swing. He thought it was just the Sova yeah. alone on the drone, but no. It is going to be Chamber there as well to really interrupt your play call. And now Wombat left alone on site. Tempest finds it. Northeastern extending their lead 10 to 1 and really showing they are a force to be reckoned with. The utility use once again. The Shock Dart to take all the damage. The Nano Swarm to get the kill. And then at, right at the end there we saw... We just, the utility out of Northeastern has Last been so strong, St. Clair. The they haven't had an answer. It's 10 to 1. They need to figure out something because literally nothing is working. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what they can do here. And honestly, it's not even like they're not getting a crazy amount of kills. Like, we do they're see Wombat losing those last two fights. Yeah, that's yeah, what it, it is. It, it's, it's just one or two gunfights that have such an impact on the round. The Saints just haven't been able to take away from Northeastern here now. And if you do look at things like, I mean, Sin and Carrot have just been having such an impact here on this game so yeah. far. 14 and 6 with 3 assists. That you're guaranteeing yourself an impact in that game at that point. Wombat will get stuck by the one-way smoke. He's going to leave Capture here. Capture spawning out two players. He's actually just going to be TPing out of this corner. He does not want to have to deal with that. Uh, so he's going to get himself in a pretty decent situation. He's going to 
Now TP once again behind the generator and capture. He's just getting ready for the side of St. Clair to push in. Yeah, St. Clair gonna go with an all-out aggressive blitz style here. They are gonna try to push in five stacks. Like capture will end up finding one after all that. We'll find two. Carrot finds one. Decan at least gets one trade up for St. Clair, but St. Clair getting absolutely massacred upon site entry. It looked like they might have had some momentum. Decan will win the duel against the Ionize, take the operator out, but St. Clair, like we said, the KJ came through, but man, just kind of got shredded on entry there. That's the big thing with the KJ. I mean, like, yeah, you can enter your site all you want, but as soon as that KJ is popped, I mean, you have to make your way right back off. Yeah. You gotta retake it all again. So look at this. It's it's like a you just take one step backwards due to that alt. So Sin is gonna be here, the top thread for Northeastern, going for a little bit of a jump peak. Will not spot too too much. It's gonna be now Carrot coming over here to support. There is an off down. You could see that one getting scooped up. Spike gonna go down for Vcan. Now you can just hold Casper gonna fall. Vcan getting a trade out onto Sin. But the thing is, Sin can also easily get rezzed here. Yeah, if they can draw a distraction. Okay, there are two in heaven state. If they can draw a distraction, they can get the Nulkum in rezzed. V can get to try to hold heaven here. Carrot gonna swing on him. Unable to find the headshot. Carrot will find it instead. V can will get the kill on Sin at least, so he'll get the 3k. But Northeastern, 11 to 1 going into the half. Yeah, that, that's killer here right now. St. Clair is going to need to find plenty of rounds on their defending side. But to be fair to this defending favored map, Switching very side. defensive favored, but uh, I mean, it I'm not sure it's 11 change. to 1 yeah, defending. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's the problem. The only that's problem. the problem. <laughs> when we say defender favored, we're thinking, you know, a 7 to 5 or an 8, eight to 4. four. Yeah, yeah, that's not, yeah, this is something else. Because now if you drop pistol, it's GG's. Yeah, that's the, that's the big thing here right now. St. Clair, if they lose the pistols, they are going to be at such an economic disadvantage going into the last round here for themselves or into Northeastern's match point round. So let's see what they can do. But this is a very important round, and I cannot emphasize that enough. Yeah, if you're St. Clair, you got to have it. Just flat out, you have to win these fights. You know Northeast, Northeastern now is going to be on the attack, so curious to see how they kind of work the Killjoy and everything else now. But... Man, St. Clair, you're going to have to try to find the sentry. Try to get Wombat on site, create that space. Get Blossom to try to get some suppresses. Make sure to try to get some info from Hybrid. And just try to set up for some easy kills. Because everything is just... It's so hard to get the kills now. Nothing's coming easy for St. Clair. Oh, no. Nothing coming easy for them at all. That's going to be Carrot somehow finding Wombat over there in the long haul towards A. It's going to be Carrot getting a little bit of damage back inflicted onto himself. But it's really no concern. Now, having this turret here as well is just going to completely shut the Saints down from pushing into A main and gathering all the info they would like oh. to. Casper has a whole swarm of players coming over him. Thank God for those chamber oh TPs. Uh, but now there's some serious problems because this is free site essentially right now for Northeastern. Yeah, if you're Casper, you walked away with your life, but at the price of the site having to be given up, Casper is going to try to find Carrot. He's going to find another one backside. One Casper with a flick on Ionite gets the one tap. We'll get traded up by Carrot finding three on the round now. Right, we're going to try to get the scan out. Carrot going to try to find one more. Going to take up two states at two HP and still kicking. One we'll enemy almost enemy. find Hybrid as well. Going to get traded out finally, but 3v1 for Northeastern. Make it 3v0 and 12 to 1 for Northeastern. Yeah, Northeastern will be putting themselves on match, match point, point here now. St. Clair going to need 11 rounds in a row to force an overtime to be played out here now between these two teams. Now, let's see where these buys are going because this is making things very interesting. So it's going to be... Okay. Killjoy on the hero rifle. I like it, honestly. Yeah, I'm liking this. Oh, two double marshal for the Saints with on on defense side. Double spectator with the sheriff. I like this. Setup. The one tap. I think yeah, you need those one tap capability. You need quick fights. You need to win quick fights and hopefully steal that phantom off of Carrot. The problem is here is that the side of Northeastern has four specters and they're all with full armor, full armor. and a little bit of utility. Yep. They also have the one phantom and one phantom. I don't care what anybody says, it can make such a difference. Especially since Killjoy has been playing lights out both offensively and defensively. Look at Ard trying to get the push here. Gonna try to nail that long area to keep boxing him off. I nice. We'll find the kill on Casper. So not the start you want if the St. Clair. And it is just getting worse by the second. Capture finds two. St. Clair getting pushed, collapsed on site here. I nice. Trying to sweep through here. Hybrid will end up finding the kill. Remaining. Gets traded out. I nice. Finding yet one more. And now 4v1 Five in a dream, planted. but it'll be a dream. Most likely short lived. Wombat. Gonna try to find a trick shot with the Marshall, but nothing doing yet. Shot guard flash has come through. Sin cleans it up. And a 13 to 1 win. smacking. Yeah, GG's for game one, I guess. That only 14 rounds are needing to be played. The Saints are going to fall early to Northeastern. Now, the one thing that really does concern me here is that I think that the confidence here going forwards for the Saints into maps two and three are definitely going to not be yes. what it was going into map one. Yeah, no matter how... It's, that's the problem. They actually played a pretty decent game for like 65%, but the 35% they lost was like the end of the round. So the score looks horrible. So they, they did have an okay job winning some engagements, but you did, they just honestly got out utility and out crossed up. Like the way Northeastern looked like they just had a set plan every single time, both offensively and defensively, and they just had Saints number. Yeah, I also think it is very big that they were able 
able to pick defense first half. Um, it really was just able to put them in a good situation yes. on the favored side. That was a Saints map pick, by the way. Oh, um, yeah. So that's a Saints map pick with a Northeastern side pick. So uh, in the end of the day, it's not the worst of the worlds. But now Northeastern is going to go under their map pick, yeah. which I believe is Bind. Uh, send Bindhaven, yeah. yeah so yeah, we're, we're, map we're hopping yeah. over to Bind here now. Saints will be able to start on defense, but do you think that changes a whole lot? What do you think here, Jobin? Uh, I don't. I don't necessarily think it changes a ton. Bind is a little bit tricky because there's only so many entries, and because let's say you go through Hookah, you try to cross through mid or something like that. Say, if, I want to see the Saint Clair, even if they start on defense, just play more aggressive. They need to try to get these entry picks and try to get the numbers advantage because when these rounds go on for 45, 50 seconds and over a minute, Northeastern just is able to grind them down, and they always find a way to, to win it out. Yeah, so I'm not sure if we're going to take a quick break here or not before we go into the next game. It looks like we are going yep. to be doing the case, but heading over to Bind here in just a moment. Stick with us. My name is Jackson Brad Brown, joined alongside Daniel Jobin, and we'll be back with you guys in just a few minutes. Those were all the superstars of that League of Toronto that they had, so it's very, very interesting here. Now, we are at the second of the game. A couple shots coming through. Jay with a shot on net here. Can he get it on that? Yes, he will. He's going to slide Woo. in the left post there. We'll be able to find the first goal of this game for St. Clair. Yeah, Jay off to a nice start there. Is looking to find the back of the net for the Saints. Just as you were saying, we'll drop this one down, and it is going to bounce in. Here. I'm trying to find their names there. Garcia, Tokyo and Broken are the other two players for them. Koff looking for a shot, and then he's going to find it with a flip off the ground. What angle was that? How did he find that angle? Yeah, I, and no clue there. That is going to be a beautiful shot coming in. Look at that, just trickling through the bottom line of the net. Yeah, and it found well. this goal fairly late in the game. We are still, yeah, there's two minutes left. That's still a good, good amount of time, but you're over halfway through, and St. Clair's now trailing. This is looking very good for Valleyfield, but Jay on a shot oh, drops so it down. Good. We'll find the goal. Beautiful plays from Jay using the backboard as a fourth player. A great response here for St. Clair, and that's exactly what I wanted to see. Make sure that Valleyfield's going to put one in. You know, I mean, even even what Stax was just saying that, you know, when you think about Northwood, when you think about the team in the past, Lion Blaze is definitely one of the first names that you think of. And so to see him starting here today definitely feels good. If you are Northwood, they're bringing, oh, they are not holding anything back. But look at that, St. Clair finds a beautiful double touch from Jay, and they're going to put the first point on the board. At Jay, excellent air control. Even, actually, you know, he actually got bumped by Lion Blaze. Seven boost between them, and it's still causing pain. Comp. Oh, that's a nice touch oh, out. And the bomb comp has been brilliant. Jay will score a hat trick. But this physical play from comp, he gets the touch and then coming off the backboard, getting the bump Try to on drive that one up and across. Jay with a beautiful boost and a disruption on that play is going to allow comp to have a little bit of pass between them. Back over to Spoon. Oh. Wonderfully done. Line place tries to go in for the save, but it's too little too late. Oh, this was this was crazy. Comp with the delayed flick. Lion Blaze doing everything he can. Comp. Focus. If you can up. shut down paper, that'll be absolutely massive. Come this next search and destroy because he is really the only person that's threatening them so far. I think Saint Clair just be able to win a lot of these gunfight streaks can come through here as well for Priestley and is try and find two here. Is he gonna get it? Yes, he will. He is also going to win that gunfight, and that is going to be it. Sauce going to take him down, so but Saint will be taken down though by Gorilla, who found the two piece there. Sauce going to get the execution. or I believe that was yeah, yeah the it was Sauce finding the execution on the paper there, and four piece for Saint Clair. They are going to try and hop back onto this point, but they aren't going to be able to quite on it yet. Sauce is going to keep the <laughs> Chico going to walk up the ladder and see an unfamiliar face going to try and slide back down. We'll get is some side control and possibly get the bomb down. Wombat will whiff on the blades from, so that'll be a little good, little bright side for the side of Hilltoppers. He will still find Case. Blossom will find three. Short will take him out. He's still alive on the ground, so could be revived if need with a couple ultimates, but I don't suspect they'll probably use it again. Their executions on sites have just been so good. There's no answer for Casper. Oh, no. Waiting for Jersey. He sees the oh, gun. He no. sees that. Oh, no. He's no, going Casper, for it. No. He's going for it. Casper. Oh, he's going for it. Whips no. out the butterfly knife. Can he find this no. one? So long? Oh, he finds the head of Jersey there. Here and engage at first chance. Will be smokes coming down here. We'll be able to get them down and run away before he gets go down. But Wombat going to find one. Wombat going to find another. Going to dash through into heaven here already has gotten on site so quickly they are not expecting this one wombat gonna find a third as well okay, just going to be as left not gonna be able to get the shot though hybrid somehow on that jump 
Found I'm, the edge. I'm pretty oh, sure he just 360'd him. I'm like 99% sure that inside. hybrid just jumped and spun because I Match saw that Solva point. cape twirl. Very proposition here for Oakland. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. I guess we're going to get ourselves one of the most like nerve wracking series. He had two goals up and now oh. two goals going the other way. Go oh up my in there. goodness. But I got the deadlock. It's not three to two, St. Clair. Wow. Unbelievable play here from Comp. A beautiful double touch. That's wonderful. Off the Ross able to play it away. Two minutes left to go in game number two. Oakland again finding themselves behind, and they're going to be down two. Oh, that was just a self fulfilling prophecy. The last clear was kind of like a wolf pack clear. Everyone wanted to make sure that ball was set outside, but doing that pretty much on the far side of the net, unmanned. So far, and now Northwood White taking the 3 1 lead now. Just under two minutes remaining in this game. St. Clair, a little bit on the back foot so far throughout the second half of this game. Comp looking for an opportunity here towards the middle. Guys bump there in the oh, mid and it is going to result perfect. in a Spoods goal. Comp doing all the work, Spoods. Going to get all the glory there. You saw that beautiful touch there as Whoa. well as the bump onto Riker and Spoods. It's just going to tap it into the empty net there. And uh, St. Clair pulling within like, one. Riker with a chance here. Isn't going to be able to get a second touch though. Jay going to be able to turn that one away. Ambrosia going to go for the shot, but going to be stopped here. Comp not going to be able to get that touch either. We'll get the second touch though. He's going to oh. find that goal. I don't know how he was able to get that aerial through, but he somehow manages to do it here misses the ball on the first touch actually let's call that intentional well, intentionally misses the ball surely intentionally misses. Out to Riker Riker fast to Spoods Spoods gonna go for the aerial here gets one touch but Ambrosia maybe did to clear it Jay pass towards the middle comp with a chance here he's gonna strike it and he's gonna find his second of the game right into the bottom corner of the net beautiful shot there St. Clair clicking on all cylinders now Comp oh. beats two players there. What a touching the pace on St. Clair right now. I swear they've had seven or eight golden opportunities in St. Clair, whether by luck or by skill, have been able to deny them so far through the first three minutes of OT. But you got to start putting together a chance of your own. Demo will come through. That's Jay with a shot on That's net. It. Massive demo by Spoons, and Jay will close this one out. St. Clair with a huge win in game five with all the theatrics you could ever ask for. And another demo is gonna end this game we saw it a couple Bell weeks ago the back side and the gold lead is all too much here for the orc lions it's a valiant effort on the back side from saint Clair, but they do not have the stats they do not have the items and now ricky lafleur he is strong but he is just a Hello Saints Nation and welcome back here to game number two here of our NACE Star League playoffs. It is going to be round four currently, your St. Clair Saints versus yes. Northeastern University. And it was going to be NEU taking game number one in dominant 13 to one fashion. But we are headed over to bind here now as your Saints are looking to regain here over on a new map and starting on a new side. So let's see how yeah. this one plays out. We're going to see a heavy engage and blitz style out of St. Clair. Rays, Sky, Reyna and Brimstone. Stimmies, Duelist, Duelist, and then a Sky for all the entries. St. Clair is going to put the pedal to the floor this game because this is the only way I know how to play this comp. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how they can yeah. do it. I mean, to be honest, I like when Saints play aggressive. I think me too. it really is valuable for them. The only thing that slightly concerns me is why didn't we see as much aggression on the attacking side when they played, a, a, you know, a starting on an attacking yeah. side? Because now you're playing a map where you're starting on the defending side. You're not going to use this, um, you know, so aggressiveness as much on yes. the defending side. So it will be interesting to see how they actually do use it here on bind. Um, but I'm very, very interested to see. I think it's nice, too, now seeing that we actually do have St. Clair with heals and no heals for the opponent, which is very interesting. Yeah, they did go with the Cypher, though, so they want to definitely say they know they're uh, actually attacking sides. So they did go with the Cypher to start an attack, so Carrot clearly plays that, that Sentinel, that Sight Lockdown, because when they've Killjoy to Cypher, St. Clair, though, say even though they're playing on defense with all these attacking uh, operators or agents, whatever, I do like, in Valorant, it's a game, confidence can actually do more for you than you think. If you confidently take fights, as long as you're not taking ill-advised fights, you're actually going to find that you win a lot of the trades more than you don't. When you play passive and you're waiting to get swung on, you'll end up losing a lot more fights, so maybe St. Clair are going to try to do a lot more aggressive defensive entry and try to catch Northeastern slipping because they got to do something because Northeastern just looked too strong on map one. Yeah, St. Clair uh, definitely going to have to answer back to something yeah. here now. That is a, definitely a given fact, but it all starts with pistols. And yes. pistols are like, it might be the first round of the game, but it's arguably also one of the most important rounds. Yeah. Because pistol round also comes with a huge economic advantage right from the gun. It comes with a huge advantage in round two with weaponry, and it just really helps you string together a few more rounds if you can find the pistol. Yeah, so and everyone starts on even footing, which exactly. is the biggest thing, yeah. Exactly. So we'll see if the side of St. Clair can take the pistol and look to take an early lead.
lead here in this game. But look at this. A lot of... This is the... Look at the... You're it's, talking about yeah. it immediately. Doesn't matter if they're on defensive side or not. The aggression is through. Now they know for sure yep. that the side of Northeastern is going B. They have all of the information they need. You will see all of these players rotate over from the side of St. Clair. Wombat comes to the TP. Takes out capture. That's bombed down. It's not even even in hookah yet. It's in the hallway. Yeah, it's exactly what you want to see. Put the Trailblazer with the TP. Distract it and Blossom. We'll find another kill. So that is exactly what I wanted to see out of this conference. St. Clair Wombat immediately initiating with the Sky. Tempest getting tagged up. VK and Wanda finding two, actually. And a third goes down. Flawless for St. Clair. And night and day difference from F1. Did they even take a bullet's worth of damage? I don't even think so. I actually don't think so. The health bars looked full, and they usually don't buy armor. So Yeah, that looked just very, very good for St. Clair wow. on that first round. They played that one phenomenally. And now you look at the and you're like, okay, St. Clair, maybe this is the aggression that you needed the whole time. But it's only a matter of time until Northeastern is able to kind of sniff out a little bit more yeah. about what St. Clair <laughs> is doing and then set up a counter for it. Now, let's see how that one will go. But here we are. It's going to be round number two. St. Clair, Spectres, and Marshalls a little across the board. The side of Northeastern, not going to buy a thing. I really do agree with this buy from Northeastern. Or sorry, this round from Northeastern. Yeah, you just want to make sure you play the second round. Try to get a couple of the guns off the Saints. I and I is going to be playing with this uh, the shorty in the short corner. It does have the paint shell, so he will, might be able to toss that down mid and try to get some info. Carrot is going to try to hold this cross through mid. The Northeast, as we said, pretty pretty small buy, so not really going to be looking to push the action. They're going to try to catch St. Clair. Especially the way St. Clair just ran at them, I'm sure they're like, hey, we can probably bait one or two of these guys into a kill, maybe steal a gun or two, try to get something out of the shot, try to get an eco. Capture, yeah. Headshot, or not a headshot. Casper will get the kill on Sin, and who could those spike goes down as well, so Casper going to get the overheal. Going to flick through the wall, just shooting over the head of Capture through the wall. Vcan will get the headshot on Carrot coming through mid, though, so split push from Northeast and getting shut down. Casper finds his third of the round on the Marshall and Hookah. Casper going to try to find the Sheriff kill to end this round off. Vcan going to be pushing up through mid. They are going to flank. Ionize gets dropped in. Back to back flawless. Only one or two shots landing for Northeastern. The Marshall is so, so good so, on round two so because it's the fact op. that there's a little bit of armor and no armor and everything. It's, it's literally an op, it's like an you're op. saying. But the only thing is it's only an op for one round. So now you see Casper come through. That Marshall going to be nowhere near yeah. its use that it had in the previous round, but definitely still going to look to save that one because there's no point in buying up again. Yeah. So here we are. St. Clair off to a 2 nothing lead. That's why we were saying the pistol has so much impact because now look at St. Clair's creds compared to the side of Northeastern and the scoreboard, everything like that. Yeah. It's all going to be favoring St. Clair right now. Yeah, you needed this for confidence. If you came out and dropped the first two, three rounds and things would look good. Blossom going to blast back in. Finds one. We'll find two. Double headshot on St. and Carrot. We'll throw the paint shells to stop the flank, but Blossom on the blast packs once again. Finding those two picks for St. Clair and starting the round incredibly. Going to try to find three We'll find a third gets traded up by capture, but Blossom causing mayhem for Northeastern in the spawn. And now the Brimstone tag down from the Marshal of Casper. He cleans up the kill. V can't, can't find Tempest. And your St. Clair Saints will be near another flawless round. And that is going to be a 3 to nothing scoreline. And to be completely honest, the more surprising thing about that is the fact that Northeastern had rifles on every single member of their True. team. Blossom comes through. He should not be allowed to find those first two. Never mind a third. Yeah, uh, the, the two are lucky. Blossom, Something about Blossom and Bind, man. Put the two together. The Blossom Bind Blast Packs say that 20 times fast, able to walk through. Like you said, with a Spectre, he'd be lucky to get one kill, and he would have been overjoyed to find even just one trade. To find three in the spawn, and then the Marshall coming through for Casper, just dropping the others. Northeastern. You have to try to figure out something now, because Sinclair took the bonus, and now looking pretty good. Oh, it's be a heavy B push from Northeastern though, this time. Yeah, we will see here now. It is going to be the side of Wombat looking for something, but nothing to be spotted as we get ionized. Already very far pushed up into B, and this is a very... A lot of pressure over towards B. Let's see if Wombat can find. He has one player running into him. There he goes. Tries to find another capture, though. Gonna go down to the Molly of Hybrid. There's Gasper finding another kill. Now a 4v2. All up to the KO in the Sova. Ooh, VKN gonna take down Tempest on the Sova. Now all up to the KO of Northeastern. That will be Sin. And a 1 versus 4. He has a Marshall in hands. What can he do with it? I'm going to assume not a whole lot, assuming Sinclair doesn't peek, I think the spike is down somewhere in the depths there of all the utility. Yeah, down on B. Casper one to find the kill on Sin. And once again, four Saints staying alive. So just like almost as clean as you can play these first four rounds they have for Sinclair. I was not expecting a scoreline like this. So Ionize will actually be looking to call a timeout here now from the side of Northeastern. But one thing I really wasn't expecting was to see a scoreline of 4 to nothing in favor of St. Clair after the loss yes. they just took. Yeah. You think that, you know, okay, if St. Clair, for something good for them right now, would be like a 3-1 or like a 2-2 two -two even. Yeah, even a split. Um, <laughs> even a split, yeah, right? But the, right now, they're just completely winning out every one of their rounds on the defending side of a new map. And yeah. it, it really is going to help with their confidence. It looks completely... 
completely different than last game. Yeah, I think they've only had two deaths in the first four rounds, so that's I actually like this timeout from Northeastern because even though it's really early in the game, we know how Valorant gets. If this snowballs to six, seven, nothing before the halftime, just as we said, you get to that eight, nine number, it starts to get pretty, pretty tragic well, in the second half. You get a few timeouts anyways. Why not use one exactly. now? Because it's better safe than sorry. I always yes. say that with every game I cast, I if a team starts losing four or five rounds in a row, call that pause, yeah. whatever you need to do. Just Even if it's not even to talk about a strat, even if it's just to take a deep breath yeah. for a second, calm things yeah. down, and just regain, yeah. and that is so, so valuable to the team. But we are going to be hopping back into things here now. The next round will be getting started. So let's see how this one does end up going for ourselves as we cut from our cameras over to the game here now. As we get into that one here now, we get the players all getting readied up. I can hear them all moving yeah. around yeah. in the background, ready, yeah. and here we Second go. Up. St. Clair still up to the 4-0 lead. Let's see if Northeastern tries to change things up a little bit. Yeah, and I say, once again, I do love the timeout. Just like in basketball, when a team gets hot and goes around, you just call timeout, try to stop the momentum. They are going to send it again. Blossom will find a trade. Tempest going to be a lot more aware this time. Is going to find two. So St. Clair, on the negative end of that trade, I do like the idea once more, but Northeastern called that timeout. They're like, hey, patience, set up. They waited for St. Clair to push. Got the first two kills. Now Capture is trying to get Hookah control. We'll drop the Stimmy and Hookah Wombat. Playing just underneath this window. This is such a cheeky little spot. This doesn't often doesn't always get checks with Wombat. Gonna try to find something through the brim smoke. Hybrid holding the cross. We are gonna see a pretty heavy rotation out of Northeastern though. So they are gonna try to walk over to A site. St. Clair doesn't really have any eyes on it yet. The Viper V can is gonna try to rotate over, but if Northeastern wants to push this and plant, they will be able to do so. Yeah, there's literally nobody here. It's going to be VCAN, the first one here. He's going to call this out to his two teammates. Now you do see the Sky and Brim rotate over from St. Clair. Uh, but VCAN, you need to find one, minimum, yeah. to, to try to open this one up for your team. Because I don't even think he's going to... They're not even going to challenge him. Like, they can just get this bomb down, play their post plants, and now Northeastern has all of the pressure here, and they are in the driver's seat of this round. Yeah, they do. I think they do still have the uh, paint shells as well. V can will actually get the head shots, but they do no longer have the paint shells to try to get stopped and fused. V can finds two, finds one in showers. Capture gonna try to get the trade able to do so. St. Clair with an excellent job. The Viper Pit will go down for V can, so gonna try to keep him alive now. Wombat will get traded out. V can and Hybrid will swing and find two in the Viper Pit, and St. Clair will get the defuse. Excellent job to rotate over and play that post plant. You know, when they were down a player and coming in on a retake, I was not expecting them to be able to come through and find that one. All the post plants look good for Northeastern. St. Clair, it all opened up with VKN. VKN's two kills completely yes. changing that round, and that is going to allow St. Clair to now find another round win. 9-0 like, no on you, VKN as a fight. What's player. happening? We lost 13-1 to one last game. How am I looking at a 5-0 scoreline in our favor now? It, it's just, it's crazy to see how much um, agent select, a map, side select can change how this one plays out. Yeah, the Saints only have five deaths, which is only enough to lose one total round. So if you're St. Clair, you will absolutely take that math. It adds up in your favor. Vcan 9-0 and on the Viper so far. Not something you typically see. Casper is popping off on the Reyna, but to go that crazy on a Viper early on is absolutely crucial for St. Clair. Casper going to try to find the Sheriff shot and able to do so. Wombat shuts him down. He will shut down nine eyes as well. There goes two. Wombat will get traded up by Tempest. So Northeastern going to find one back here, but they are going to try to have to push on site here. And St. Clair still has decent control of both sites. A little concern now that Tempest does have a rifle in his hand, yeah. but St. Clair does have that player advantage still. I think the big thing is just now trying to shut down the KO and the Cypher yep. from being able to find any Sheriff kills because you cannot allow these pistols to find kills on against your rifles. Here we are. It is going to be a lot more of this B pressure. All players are looking to go into long. I'm not Ooh. sure if there's an immediate defense for long. It does look like Hybrid is ready to go if need be. He's going to need some help, though. Yeah, here we go. This is the push. This is the, what we are all waiting for. We're going to start seeing some rotations Ooh. come in over from A bomb set as well. Oh and here we are. Hybrid, shoulder to shoulder. They know he's in back elbow now. He's gonna have to walk out. Gonna drop the stimmy, so he's gonna need some teammates to rotate. They are gonna drop the cage to try to keep him back. He's gonna molly. Excellent molly. Try to stop the plant. Won't stop the plant, but he will find two kills. We'll find a third with the molly, actually. So wipes out Northeastern, and you blink your eyes, and Hybrid's got three, and the round's over. Beautiful utility there from Hybrid. I mean, that was a nice molly. I, I have not seen, like, that was just a perfect lineup to know where he had to yeah. bank it off the wall and everything in that regard. It's going to allow St. Clair now to find a sixth round for themselves. Let me tell you right now, they have six deaths total. On average, they are losing one player a round, and that is just crazy yeah. to see. Especially... Not even just to winning the rounds, the economy. Look at the money of most of the Saints in the f above 5K for the most part. Four of them, two of them above 8K. And the economy for Northeastern, you can see just they have a they have a still have a full buy, but the money's starting to dwindle down a little bit. So St. Clair, if you're able to take one or two more rounds here, you could really start to snowball this game. Right now, it's essentially just Wombat Blossom run in there, go frag, yeah. find some <laughs> entries, and then it gives us so much intel on what Northeastern wants to do, and it gives us a player advantage. It's been working out very, very well, but that is 
is why you see five out of six St. Clair's no deaths all in those two players. Ooh. Oh, this is a problem. Hybrid gonna go down to the Hunter's Fury, and Wombat will actually get spot. Like, uh, this is what I mean by how? Sova's. Like, how? how how do you know this? How? <laughs> it doesn't even make sense, because we swear he can't see those outlines for the no. wall like we can. I just, Sova's just know, man. They're able to get that second tag. St. Clair gonna be down to a 5v4 now. Excellent oh, shot though. This Sova absolutely <laughs> cracked. Ionai's gonna find two kills after the shock dart pushed him out, and man, Northeastern. That's what do you do about that solo play? What do you do? Uh, not a hundred percent, but it does look like I, I'm really Spike surprised he's not trying to save an op there. I really am. So he's actually gonna go for the Phantom and try to play me play for some exits. Um, but with that being said, it does look like Northeastern will probably get their first round on their board here. Ionize is gonna pick up on a sound cue here on the Blossom. So yeah, now Ionize. He picked up on the sound cue in time. You're gonna see Blossom. Race versus oh, race. Oh, there it is, right behind him. Ionized on the 3K for Northeastern. That's six to one scoreline here after our first seven. I still charges. cannot get over that Hunter's Fury, man. Just, what Tempest, how do you even guess to swing 25 feet to the right and shoot through the back tunnel and still get a tag? I just don't understand. At least that ultimate now off the table. St. Clair does have a lot of ultimates in their favor as well. So if they're able to, even if Northeastern gets this plant down, St. Clair has a lot of options to counteract it. They do have the Seekers and the Showstopper. So St. Clair, just try to get back in this. Try to steal one of these next two rounds and try to cruise into halftime at at least a score. Of, you want to get at least eight or nine at this point when you're already at six. Yeah, if you've already got an up to a six to nothing lead, you're looking for a minimum of eight, I would yeah. say, going into the remainder of your half. And eight rounds would be huge for St. Clair to put it to an eight to four half. And that is a quite the uh, lead here for themselves. But it's going to take a little bit more work here. Northeastern looking like the pressure is going to be over towards this eight bomb. So how is St. Clair's defense going to go? This could be big. Oh, he spots one. No, but that's the problem. He had to shoot it in the corner. Yes, yeah. he still finds a kill. And there's the paint shells to follow it up. That's going to actually do some good amount of damage there. It will actually help him find a kill on the capture. So despite eight. the ult not being and working out the best, everything else is. So that is now going to leave it all up to the KO and Cypher here of Northeastern. And a four versus two. Five on two, sorry. Now a four on two as Carrot does become oh. Beacon. Nice shots on wall bang. Going to take out Carrot. Now all up to the KO of Northeastern. 1v4 Sin. What do you have in store for us? Yeah, if I'm St. Clair, I'm definitely going to play cautious. This guy has popped off a couple times. Blossom going to try to hold that peak by box. He's going to try to get the ADS headshot. We'll get flipped on by Blossom. We'll find his third. And even when the showstopper doesn't get kills, you can see the fear that it struck into the entire team. They, were, they weren't really ready to push, and they were so scared of the rocket launcher, they forgot there were three other players holding that mid, and they just got crossed up and dropped through that Cypher cage and that smoke. It's going to be the seventh here now for St. Clair, guaranteeing themselves a minimum of a 7-5 to five half here now, which is very, very good. Yes. I mean, 7-5, to five, you'll definitely take that after being on the defending side, but you're going to ideally be looking for an 8-4 to four or better. Yeah. Um, but uh, with that one being said, it is going to be an operator coming out for Casper. We do see four rifles supporting it for the side of St. Clair and for the side of Northeastern. They're actually going to have to rely on a Spectre and such here now in this round. So that could really provide some more problems for themselves, especially when Casper's opening up rounds like that. Yeah, Casper getting the quick pick, getting the dismiss as well, going to drop Sin. So excellent job. And to shut off that KO too. That's one of the characters that you definitely want to focus on shutting off early. VKN going to try to hold this mid, going to shoot the snake by itself, just try to delay the push of North. Eastern, maybe send them either to showers to try to rotate to the other site. They are gonna Blossom is gonna be sitting in showers actually. They are gonna walk up behind him in showers. So Blossom gonna just just be safe now. Ina is gonna try to hold this mid peak. They're gonna try to stack up and do something. But Saint Clair, they have a lot of presence on A. They should be ready for this. Yes, they definitely should be. I mean, they do have a Viper here for Sinclair, so it does provide a lot of value yeah. when it comes to the toxins and shutting down sites. And very good for VKN to be one of the only players over here defending a site, but here's the entries, and there's a lot of the toxins and stuff I was talking about. So now a lot of rotations looking to come in over towards this site. VKN, he is in U-Haul. Wombat down to 25 HP, just fighting for his life in a smoke. VKN still looking for these players ready to push into U-Haul. No, the timing on that play will not work out in his favor. Now, full U-Haul control is in favor of Northeastern. One for Wombat, though, could change the tides. Five left. versus four. Yeah, Wombat's doing a great job of still staying alive. Gonna try to pre-fire that box. Just clear the corner. 25 HP. Gonna swing. Will get taken up by Capture, but Wombat, excellent job of staying alive there and creating havoc on the side. Hybrid will find a kill on Capture. 4v2 for St. Clair. Now, that's trying to play retake. Yeah. Both players from Northeastern back in that elbow area, so they have to collapse on them. Ooh, Blossom is going to be wide on that flank as well. So they're, they are going to get the, the scan darts as well. Tempest going to try to find one in that back hallway. Finds Hybrid. Going to get run up on. Him and Carrot still holding together an elbow. One they're going to try to find him. Vcan will end up finding Carrot. Now a 3v1. Vcan collapses again. And St. Clair fights through. Vcan 14 HP, and they take their eighth round.
Their eighth round is massive. You yes. know, we were saying we you ideally all, you're beyond happy with an eight oh, to four yeah. half. Especially so, after last game. Oh, oh my for god. Sure. So St. Clair now up eight to one. And this is what just blows my the mind. Power. The fact that if St. Clair can just win five rounds in a row, what we're gonna see Northeastern win thirteen to one and I then St. Yeah. Clair to win thirteen to one? That's like how what? it works, man. No, that's just Valorant for you. But if you look at things, V can. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize Still going. thirteen and one. He is on a roll here right now. He's going to almost have as many kills as the whole opposing team combined almost. Yeah, they got 14. He's Nor got 13. Yeah. Ooh. v -Ken. on the Viper too. So playing that aggressive, like you said, that aggressive defensive style. I wasn't expecting v -Ken to be the one at the top, especially he was like the one person I thought, this guy's going to play Sight oh Controller. He's going to probably play back and try to play smart. Boombot will go through. Casper finds the kill on Capture with the up. 5v4 now. Tempest will actually get the headshot on Hyper with the Sheriff. So really good job to get that one back nice and early for Northeastern. They do have a it's pretty split push here. They got one mid, one flank in between B. Casper, short corner on this op. Does see one. He will find the kill. Tempest plays his hand a little bit too early. Wombat will flash out in case there's any more. It will be clear. St. Clair does have the numbers, and it looks like it'll end up being an A push. V can will trade out. Ionize will pick up Blossom. So 3v2 now. A little bit of push coming through mid, but St. Clair still have a pretty good uh, position here. Yeah, I will say here right now, I haven't seen Casper play Reyna in so no, long, yeah. and it's so nice to see him back on this right now. He's very, very good with it. And honestly, for the Sova of Northeastern, that just feels bad, man, because he tried pulling out his utility, yep. and his one hand just went way out yep. there. And at that point in time, Casper knows exactly where you are. He's going to fire off the shot and will get the kill. Vcan finds Spike one. Only one of them make it to the TP, but Spike is oh, on the outside. Vcan's not even going to hop in there now. 35 seconds left. Ionice has to wrap all the way back over to this A site and has to play against both these players has to start on the off but he can for another 3k oh my goodness it's going to be st Clair now up nine to one did someone tell vcan he's not playing a duelist 16 <laughs> and one on bind as a viper he hasn't even had to use the viper pit in three or four rounds because he's just cleaning everybody up and the fact i think this is his second or third viper pit he does have online so only two rounds left st Clair now up nine to one they do have the empress and the viper pit if they decide to use it but st Clair looking a lot better on map two than map one yeah, so St. Clair, after 10, with a massive advantage, they're looking, like we said last time around, to the side of Northeastern, if you can get a double-digit lead in your first half, it is very massive yeah. for yourself. Now we're saying the same thing to St. Clair here. If you can just get even one more round and put this one to a 10 to 2, like that is such a differential. Yeah, I like that. Actually sent Vcan alone to kind of walk through shower today, so he definitely is feeling a Tempest. We'll get the kill on Wombat. Showstopper does come online. Northeastern's gonna try to find something. Cypher LG as well. Ionize will get the kill on Blossom with the Showstopper. I will take out Carrot. Ionize finding another on site. Gonna drop the pain shells into the back hallway now, so excellent job of Northeastern. Burned a couple ultimates, but they did get sight control, and they got exactly what they needed to start the round. Yeah, they were just, at this point in time, they were saying, you know what, guys, I know we're going to have to burn some ults yeah. to do this, but we need one round, yes. and we need it bad. One so they will remaining. do so. They will find this one. Leaves it all here up now to Casper, and that is going to be him getting spotted out. He's waiting for someone to try to peek him, but they are all see that he has an op here as well. They do not want to play this one. There's the first. There's the dart. It's going to be him hidden away. He's going to re-peek it here now, actually. They should, if they peek this one by one, they're playing with fire. Casper still on that operator. Does, he has to clear a lot of angles, though. Gonna try to aim into that area. Gonna try to find one. Gonna have to walk out and expose himself. He will get found up by Tempest. Just misses the headshot, so not the end of the world if you're St. Clair. Burned a couple ultimates. Northeastern did a really, really good job there of committing. They said, they, yeah, they basically bucked up there and said, we are going to win this round. We do not care what we have to invest in. You know what, if you're St. Clair, that's a round you're okay with losing because at very worst, you go into the half 9-3, so. Yeah, Northeastern will still have two ultimates compared to St. Clair's one. You have the Viper Alt, or the Viper Pit, sorry, for St. Clair. And then for the side of Northeastern, you have the Hunter's Fury. And then you do have the, I think it's a Kale Res. Null that Command. Is, that's the name of it. But it's the Res, yeah. It's yeah, called yeah. the Null Command, but it's the Res pretty much. Yeah, so that's going to be a lot of alts to be used if need be here in this one. St. Clair is going to be on the defending side. Only two players over towards B, but this is going to be Northeastern just looking like they were on a fly into this bomb site. Yeah, maybe they decided the split pushing isn't working because they kept losing those quick gunfights 1v1, so... Maybe the five stack is the play. Hunter Sure gonna come online to try to find one. Hybrid and Wombat will find two before they can get traded out though. Tempest, once again on the Hunter's Jury, able to find Wombat, so just endless utility from the soul, but Blossom will rotate through TP, try to find something. He is backside Hookah, trying to find something. He did have to get up to the dark, did get stitched out. Trying to find a couple kills, Casper in the short corner with the up, finds one, kills Ionize. Trying to find another, unable to land the flick, still in this elbow. Just aimed to the left at the worst time, but St. Clair, 2v1. Tempest sits there. VK does have the Viper Pit if he wants to use it. Not necessary, however. St. Clair will go 10 to 2 into halftime. He's so good. Dude. VK.
Can you believe this guy's my future roommate, Shit. man? He said, screw the Viper Pit. I'm just going to take this gunfight and win at 18 and 2. Yeah, that is crazy, man. He's currently on sitting Viper. here with a 9.0 KD on Viken. The Viper is the craziest thing. Like, that's if Casper was doing it on the Reyna, like, okay, yeah, still phenomenal. But you're a duelist. That's kind of more a little bit what's expected of you. Not to go 18 and 2, yeah, you but to fight. Yeah, well, the Viper is just, you setting up the team, and he's like, nah, I just, I got it. Yeah, that's exactly it. So, here we go. Getting ready for round number 13, the first round of our second half. St. Clair only needing three rounds to close yeah. this one out. Northeastern are going to need 11. Yeah, if you're Northeastern, very tall order. Bind, definitely defensive-sided, but as we said in the last map, usually not 10-2 to 2 defensive sided. So if you're St. Clair, you want to come out and you really want to take Pistol. They did such a good job last time of just pushing the action and making Northeastern play to their style. Because St. Clair, they immediately picked up the pace and look how much better they play. They just, they have to play that fast style, honestly. When they play back and it's just not working, they have to just flip the switch. They've done it so far and this is a huge Pistol round coming up. Yeah, definitely. If St. Clair wins this pistol round, they win this game in my eyes. Yeah, uh, no, it so. all just is a very, very big one. And I think now St. Clair do have these very aggressive operators Ooh. that they can use here in this game. Yes. And look at this. Blossom's in you all already. Like how? Every, <laughs> you, every time, man. You have Northeastern and Showers, but Blossom's going to be here to cut off rotations, which is so big. I he know. needs to find one. Oh, he's going to he's gonna fall off here now. He wants to play yeah. back it with Casper. Yeah, just play safe if you're right now. You don't have to be too crazy. You do get the bomb down. Just try to hold out this pistol and find some easy kills. Don't get too crazy. Shot will global out. Once again, get the tag. Share shots get whipped by Casper. Carrot finds one. Tempest finds one with a headshot and lamps as well. Bomb back. Gonna try to hold. Finds one. Finds two with the frenzy. V can't find one as well. St. Clair able to hold that after it looked pretty dire. V can't finding two more. Once again, V can. 3K, three headshots, and three more to the board. Oh my goodness. Like. Okay, we can. We okay. get it, man. Like, okay, okay we get it. You can slow down. You are currently sitting at 21 and 2, we can. That is crazy to see. I can't emphasize it enough. And he's doing it all like not. It's nothing like crazy. It's not. It's, it's, it's just solid. It's, it's just solid play. So here we go, 11 to 2. We were talking about how big that pistol was and how big it'll put St. Clair as a favorite here in this game number two. And now you look at things, this is exactly why. Yeah. Because if the other team is forced by pistols, um, you shorties know, a shorties and buckies. And buckies. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing where St. Clair is going to have a Marshall, idea. four specters, armor, and utility. Yeah, St. Clair definitely, now they're in a very, very strong position. They do have the economy advantage. Terra is going to get tagged out. Trying to run through the cage, will get taken out. So St. Clair, excellent job of not falling to the shorty there and keeping all their guns. Hybrid able to find the kill. Still has full HP. Tempest gonna get the kill on Vika. He'll get a swing. Gets a swing on Casper as well. Will he find three? He will not. Wombat shuts him down. Hybrid will find one as well. So St. Clair lost a couple guns, but if you're St. Clair, you're, the guns don't matter as much. You just need to win these rounds because you're so close. Blossom able to find one now. All on I and I. Jumping. Bucky shot doesn't go. Hybrid finds three. And St. Clair, they took map one personally because this is totally different. Match point for yeah. St. Clair here now to take game number two. And if you're Northeastern, you have to win 10 rounds in a row just to force an OT. Yeah, just to force OT. Oh, my goodness. Ten it doesn't seem as crazy that you say it out loud. Then it's like, oh, wow, that's actually, that's something. If they want to win this game, they have to win 12 rounds in a row right here, right now. Yeah, minimum. They have to win 14, because <laughs> you have to win, yeah, yeah, right? You have Depending to win on the OTs. <laughs> two in a row in overtime, right? So we will see here. But... It all comes down to this here. St. Clair will be looking to buy out on full rifles and look at the buy of Northeastern. It's just not the same. It's going to be sh sheriffs, pistols, specters, whatever they can put together, but it's nothing compared to the vandals and such of St. Clair. So here we go. Blossom's already in showers. Uh, hybrid finds one. That's the fastest way to anyone get in showers by going the long way on site in very long time. Paint cells will go through trying to find a pick. Lionized in lamps. We'll get taken up by Wombat. So St. Clair, excellent job so far. Carrot, we'll get the trade, but St. Clair's still in a very strong position. Going to get the spray out from Heaven. So 4v3, St. Clair still has pretty good HP as well. Tempest, going to try to drone one out. Beacon will find the kill. Casper finds the kill on Sin. Boombot does pop up for damage. Blossom wow. finds the last kill. A team ace to end the game. And a complete reversal of fortune from map one. Yeah, that is going to be the side of Northeastern going down 13-2 to two to your St. Clair Saints here. And, uh, you know, it was Whoa. a 13-1 to one for Northeastern. Now a 13-2 to two for St. Clair. This is anybody's game this, three. Like, what are we... I've, I can't really tell you what I'm supposed to expect for game three because we have no idea. Yeah, between the compositions, who we thought was going to pop off, the Viper top fragging, the Killjoy being more valuable, the Hunter, the Endless Hunter's Fury kills, this is exactly the kind of playoff series that we were expecting, despite the scoreline, because the scoreline doesn't tell the full story. It's what's happening in those rounds. Exactly. And it's just, it, was been a to, it was a totally different outlook from both maps. 100% agree with you on that one. So map number three, we will be headed over to Haven yes. here. 
And it's all going to come Oof. down to that one. The winner will advance to the top eight. The loser will be sent packing. But with that being said, I do believe we are going to be taking a little bit of a break here in a few moments. So yeah, we are going to take a quick little break we here need a breather. for a few minutes. Yeah, that was a pretty stressful one. But with that being said, my name is Jackson Pride Brown. Join alongside Daniel Jobin. We're going to be back here for game number three of Nace Star League playoffs in just a moment. were all the superstars of that league of Toronto that they had so it's very very interesting here now we are the second of the game a couple shots coming through Jay with a shot on net here can he get it on that yes he will he's gonna slide Woo. in the left post there we'll be able to find the first goal of this game for St. Clair yeah Jay off to a nice start there is looking to find the back of the net for the Saints just as you were saying we'll drop this one down and it is gonna bounce in here I'm trying to find their names there Garcia, Tokyo and Broken are the other two players for them. Koff looking for a shot and then he's going to find it with a flip off the ground. What angle was that? How did he find that angle? Yeah, I, I and no clue there. That is going to be a beautiful shot coming in. Look at that, just trickling through the bottom line of the net. I and it found well. this goal fairly late in the game. We are still, yeah, there's two minutes left. That's still a good, good amount of time, but you're over halfway through, and St. Clair's now trailing. This is looking very good for Valleyfield, but Jay on a shot, oh, drops so it down. Good. We'll find the goal. Beautiful place from Jay, using the backboard as a fourth player. A great response here for St. Clair, and that's exactly what I wanted to see. Make sure that Valleyfield's going to put one in. You know, I mean, even even what Stax was just saying that, you know, when you think about Northwood, when you think about the team in the past, Lion Blaze is definitely one of the first names that you think of. And so to see him starting here today definitely feels good. If you are Northwood, they're breaking. Oh, they are not holding anything back. But look at that. St. Clair finds a beautiful double touch from Jay, and they're going to put the first point on the board. At Jay, excellent air control. Even actually, you know, he actually got bumped by Lion Blaze. Seven boost between them, and it's still causing pain. Comp. Oh, that's a nice touch oh, out. There and the it bump is. comp has been brilliant. Jay will score a hat trick. But this physical play from comp, he gets the touch and then coming off the Ooh. backboard, getting the bump Try to on drive that one up and across. Jay with a beautiful boost and a disruption on that play is going to allow comp to have a little bit of pass between them. Back over to Spoon. Oh. Wonderfully done. Line Blaze tries to go in for the save, but it's too little too late. Oh, this was this was crazy. Comp with the delayed flick. Lion Blaze doing everything he can. Comp. Focus. If you can up. shut down paper, that'll be absolutely massive. Come this next search and destroy because he is really the only person that's threatening them so far. I think St. Clair just be able to win a lot of these gunfight streaks can come through here as well for Priestley. Gonna try and find two here. Is he gonna get it? Yes, he will. He was also going to win that gunfight, and that's going to be it. Sauce going to take him down, so but Saint will be taken down though by Gorilla, who found the two-piece there. Sauce going to get the execution. I believe that was yeah, yeah the it was Sauce finding the execution on the paper there, and four-piece for Saint Clair. They are going to try and hop back onto this point, but they aren't going to be able to quite on it. Get shit. Sauce going to keep the <laughs> Chico going to walk up the ladder and see an unfamiliar face going to try and slide back down. Will get some side control and possibly get the bomb down. Wombat will whiff on the blades from so that'll be a little good, little bright side for the side of Hilltoppers. He will still find Case. Blossom will find three. Short will take him out. He's still alive on the ground, so could be revived if need control with a couple ultimates, but I don't suspect they'll probably use it again. Their executions on sites have just been so good. There's no answer for Casper. Oh, no. Waiting for Jersey. He sees the oh, gun. He no. sees that. Oh, no. He's no, going Casper, for it. No. He's going for it. Casper. Oh, he's going for it. Whips no. out the butterfly knife. Can he find this no. one so long? Oh, he finds the head of Jersey there. Here and engage at first chance. Will be smokes coming down here. We'll be able to get them down and run away before he gets put down. But Wombat going to find one. Wombat going to find another. Going to dash through into heaven here already has gotten on sight so quickly they are not expecting this one wombat gonna find a third as well just going to be has left not gonna be able to get the shot though hybrid somehow on that jump found I'm, the edge i'm pretty shot. sure he just 360'd him i'm like 99 percent sure that hybrid just jumped and spun because i saw that soba cape twirling proposition here for oakland yeah, this is kind of interesting. I guess we're going to get ourselves one of the most like nerve-wracking series. He had two goals up, and now oh. two goals going the other way. Go oh, up my there. goodness. Forget the deadlock. It's not three to two, St. Clair. Wow. Unbelievable play here from Comp. A beautiful double touch. That's wonderful. Off the pass. Ross able to play it away. Two minutes left to go in game number two. Oakland again finding themselves behind, and they're going to be down two. Oh, that was just a self fulfilling prophecy. The last clear was kind of like a wolf pack clear. Everyone wanted to make sure that ball was set outside, but doing that.
that unmanned. Welcome back to my really, really short break. University in the Nace Star League Valorant playoffs. We saw a 13 1 for Northeastern. St. Clair comes back with a 13 2. So who knows what map 3 Haven will have in store? Hey, I mean, Northeastern's got a one round advantage yeah, if, you want to, if you want to take that for anything. Um, but no, right now, this has been like, it's just crazy because teams that can do what they're doing right now, you'd think you'd have even games. Yeah. You'd think you would have, you know, seven, five halves, you know, six, six, whatever yeah. it may be. No, a 13 to one win for Northeastern, a 13 to two win for St. Clair. Now we see map three. This is where it all lies on. Yeah. If we can see Vcan, Vcan just played what I'm going to call his best game yeah, of the entire 100%. year. I don't think there's any debate, especially because he usually plays a controller or a sentinel. Going to see him on the stage this time, so hopefully St. Clair just need more of that. They played so well last game. Everyone just fit into the role, but Vcan especially, man. That carry roll on the Viper. Wombat going to be on the jet. We're going to see Blossom back on the sky. Casper on chamber, hybrid on omen, so pretty standard fare for St. Clair as per usual. Double heals on Oh, St. actually, Claire. yes, you're right. So, and no heals on Northeastern. Ooh. That is very interesting. Yeah, they're committed to the Cypher. Uh, the Cypher, they're... Northeastern's a little more committed to their comp than St. Clair has been. They played that original style comp, and now they haven't used one heal. Both, see, especially on Haven, I don't... It's, yeah, it's an interesting choice because I think Sky and Sage both have incredible value on Haven, so I think there's definitely space for one of them on the team. 100%. Very, very happy for VKN that he had a very good game and definitely yes. the game of his career probably. Well, maybe not the game of his career, but at least the best game we've ever seen. Hey, for the Saints probably the highest stakes. Yeah, definitely highest stakes for sure probably. But with that being said, VKN pulls it through, yes. puts St. Clair in a 1-1 game scenario. Now game three, getting ready to hop underway. St. Clair will actually be able to start on the defending side as well. That I feel like that is kind of big for them. Here's the thing. This map, not as defender-sided. Yeah. There's a three sites, very easy to rotate, and it could really cause some problems for St. Clair, but I also love that I see Vcan on the Sage. Personally, yeah. I'm a battle Sage. <laughs> I, you know, I run in there. And <laughs> if, if he plays like thing. he did, if he can play the Battle Viper like that, man, I'm all for the Battle Sage. Just being Battle Sage, definitely a pretty good meta pick, especially recently. We've seen a lot of use out of it. Pistol going to start. Everyone going to peek on C long. It looks like actually going to get a couple split towards A side there, so... Once again, a split push to Northeastern on pistol, so a little questionable, but hey, Seasite is free real estate, so they could actually walk up and get played. The chamber trademark is there, however, so maybe Cashbow will try to rotate back over. It looks like he will. Northeastern baited out some Util on A side. They're going to swing around towards C and most likely make an entry that way. Yeah, so here we are. C is going to be the focus. Casper, what can you do? You got to find one. The flash will help him, and you're going to find two. Sin there now, going to trade things out. We're left in a four on three. Bomb fight goes down. Spike has been planted, and it is now going to be Vcan firing off some shots. It will find the first sin here now. We'll be trading out with Carrot. Wombat takes down Tempest. All up to Carrot on site with a frenzy. Uh -huh. He finds the first. The birds are flying through. He is going to be flashbanged off. However, Hybrid for the flight. Blossom will find the kill. Your Saints will take the pistol, and it's going to be a 1-0 lead, picking up right where they left off. Poor Wombat in Garage there. We had a shorty of like 20 foot distance trying to outgun the Frenzy. Able to buy just enough time though St. Clair. Able to clear up the pistol round. So more of the same if you're St. Clair. Excellent start to the round so far. And just you got to keep the momentum going. Because right now they're definitely feeling it. They've all looked like a lot more confident. So just got to keep it rolling. And got to keep Northeastern on their toes here. Yeah, you definitely, definitely do here. You know, we talked last game about how big pistols actually are. Yeah. And it's just coming to light here again. St. Clair, yes, they have a one nothing lead right now, but look at the round after the pistols. This is where things really start to get interesting. You see three spectator, uh, spectators, <laughs> specters, and two marshals here for the side of St. Clair, where Northeastern, they're really only coming through with casuals and doing whatever they can with their pistols yeah. because they really can't afford to invest in this round now. Yeah, Casper actually did just get one of those marshal tags. Wow, look at the headshot. Casper through the oh, smoke, goodness. finds the kill, finds a second through the smoke. What? Casper and Wombat absolutely popping off through the smoke in, in a long. RC Long, absolutely incredible work. 5v1 now, Coach, a capture will go down as well. So, oh my goodness, tunnel x-ray vision by Casper and Wombat. Like, I guess, I mean, that's going to be a smoke down there, but they're just firing away no scopes, landing them, and it's going to be St. Clair with a 2 nothing advantage in map 3. I cannot emphasize how important map 3 is, because it all comes down to this. You're either done with your nay season, and you're not coming and starting it until September. Maybe for some of these St. Clair players, this could be, like, their only season. I think they're all actually all yeah. kind of returning back, but um, with that being said, uh, there's so much on the line here that these teams are fighting over. Now, 5 right
rifles, or sorry, four rifles, one Spectre coming through for Northeastern, they're going to have a little bit of an advantage in round number three when it comes to their buys. Yeah, man, I feel the pain of those those smoke shots. Great shock there down the middle. Going to try to get some tags. We'll actually get a huge tag on Vcan, but he will find the kill before he dies. So even though we got tagged up really, really heavily to start, he will end up finding the trade, getting that one for one value. Sin, going to get pushed back through Garden. They're going to try to fight. Kara, we'll find the kill on Hybrid. Wombat, we'll get the tag onto the Cypher. So we'll do a lot of damage down to one HP for the side of Northeastern. So going to try to track him down here. They are going to be a pretty heavy A push. Karen will find the kill on Wombat. So one HP, no problem. Blossom still stuck in mid-window here in Northeastern. Pretty much free site control today. And St. Clair is uphill battle for this one. St. Clair really just swarmed the mid position too much yep. as soon as they saw Northeastern showed some light over there. So now they're stuck in a position where they're in a two on four because they got full control over mid, but then Northeastern just has the full option to just roll out and find some. That's going to be Casper and Carrot going one for one and now leaving us in a 1v3. I believe it's all up to Blossom here now on the sky. Currently just playing around the uh, Cypher cage smoke. Not going to really find him there quite yet. Sin on the flank spots him out. The bullet's not landing. The camera will do it. Tempest will clean up the kill. Northeastern is on the board in round number three. And now a two to one scoreline. And Carrot staying alive and getting two kills at 3 HP was actually huge there. Put the cage down, able to get Blossom's information, and then once again, able to still keep the use of the camera because he was able to stay alive and get those kills. So able to completely lock down that site. Blossom ran out of time, ran out of options. St. Clair now going to... They lost the bonus round now. Going to get a couple of rifles through Casper. I assume the Tour de Force is online. Yes, it will be. That would be the reason for the pistol. So going to be pretty much full weapons on each side except for Sin on the Spectre. Yeah, uh, very, very even here now. We'll see how they can do with it. I love when he pulls this one yes. out. Will he find anything? No. It does look like Northeastern really likes pushing up into mid, getting mid control. And as soon as Sinclair tries to fight that back, that mid control, they'll just roll out and yeah. go to a site. And it works out so beautifully because Sinclair leaves the sites open if they focus too much on mid. So I think that's something really big for Sinclair. Just play it back a little bit more. Play it a little bit slower because your aggressive defense isn't going to work as much here yeah. on, a, on Haven as it would on Bind. Yeah, Haven, you do not get nearly rewarded as hard for pushing down mix like you said there's three or four rotation angles at almost every single site so pushing up there is great if you get a kill but all of a sudden you were swarming them and now all of a sudden you've been surrounded by the other team northeastern did a great job with that last round now gonna be a pretty slow push they are gonna be all be slow okay blossom we'll find the kill through the cypher cage i believe we'll find the headshot so really really good start for st Clair. gonna get the numbers advantage and take out the solva so a lot of information offline wombat finds a kill on ionize wins a jet duel we'll try to find one more sin will get the kill so 4v3 now sin trying to push up an a long here blossom unable to find the kill capture will walk on site gets tagged up for his trouble though gonna try to quick little flash there questionable casper gonna get tagged up here with the cypher ultimate Got the Tour de Force in heaven, trying to find something. Bomb does finally get planted, so Sinclair are going to have to try to play retake here. Ooh. Casper, he made. barely makes it out with his life there. He's looking for the Sage heal from Vcan. Vcan going to probably turn around and give that one to him there. So no no heals on Vcan maybe, I guess, then. And it is now going to leave St. Clair in quite this sticky situation. The lineup here between Karat and uh, Capture is just too strong. I don't know what St. Clair is going to really be able to do about it. It's going to be Casper finding the first one. That could change everything as it's now going to be dropping down. Both players are down here. The trades are through. St. Clair, do you have time for the defuse? Oh, plenty. Yeah, plenty. plenty. Yeah, yeah. It seemed, yeah, they did, the, the plant actually came down a lot later than we thought it probably should have. I don't think the person on site had the spike right away. Mm -hmm. Casper, what a job there to stay in heaven. Look at the teammates for St. Clair. Casper able to stay in heaven and just, they needed that one kill to finally swing and, do, and take the site over. Casper able to find the kill. St. Clair able to retake the site there and very, very promising end to that round. Very. Yeah, I, it was a round where they were in the retake. They, you had Casper weak, and I was really concerned. But what Casper did on that round there was he actually jumped up onto the ledge of window, yes. wide swung, saw the shoulder of Carrot, and was able to just take him down yeah. from there. And then now it just leaves it into a just two players underneath hell. And yeah. St. Clair, now knowing that both yeah. those players are down there, they can force all of their pressure onto them. They get the trades because they have a player advantage, and it all works out. The hybrid will get the defuse, and now 3-1 to one scoreline after the first four. St. Clair looking to follow it up with another here as well as we do see northeastern on the Whoa. pistol round but an immediate plant could cause some problems yeah the ice wall went through garage so the immediately b push came through casper did find the early entry on the op there so the bomb did get planted for northeastern st Clair 
they've said they walled off garage, pretty much gave up B control, but now they forced out Northeastern back through that window area. So if VCAN can either slow or they can get some, some wall off here. The shock dart is going to come through. Tempest does find the kill. Diffuse does get half. Casper whistle on the off shot. Going to try to find one here. There is a couple in the short corners. Hybrid going to get the kill. Ionize is going to find the kill on Casper. The bomb's getting stuck. Bladestorm gets popped. Finds Hybrid. Bomb still at half. Bladestorm finds another three for Ionize. Still jumping away through mid. VCAN going to try to fake. Bladestorm coming back again for more. Will get taken out. And finally, Tempest takes out VCAN. So thrifty for the side of Northeastern. And what a mid B push. If he kills Tempest there, I think that he's just going to hop and stick that bomb. There's yes. already halved. And then KOs has some real problems. He has yeah. to hit shots and quickly. It was a really good try but not good enough for the Saints. It's going to be another one on the board for Northeastern. And honestly I think a lot of that is due to Ionized. Ionized was playing that close corner yes. right outside of that area and then as soon as he made that swing, got a share of kill, pulled out the knives and then found two more. It completely yeah. turned around on its head. St. Clair will fall in a round that they were most likely looking to take away against the you know light buy yeah. from Northeastern. But now it's exactly flipped. St. Clair is going to be the ones with the pistol in the marshal this round. Yeah, Wombat, get pull out his own blades from here and try to repeat a little bit of what Northeastern just did. Say the way. It wasn't an incredible buy, so the Knives are going to have to try to find one or two here, at least if you're St. Clair. Wombat well, going to try to peek through A long, going to try to find one. Casper, maybe get the tag there. It doesn't look like any damage was actually done. Going to use the Rendezvous and get out of there. Owl Drone still on site. It will tag him out, so he's going to get pushed pretty hard on C here. Going to need his teammates to rotate. None of the Saints are really that close to come and help him immediately, so they're going to have to get over here. It looks like the bomb will most likely get planted, and then I would assume it'll be a retake. Yeah, St. Clair is going to have to try to retake B here on this one. It's just not going to be easy considering the riflery that they do have in pocket. And uh, now, here we go. That is going to be some more utility sent out, but no kills coming through for either side yet as this bomb is ticking lower and lower and lower. St. Clair has got to get the move going. It is going to be... Some shots are going to come through. All sheriffs out here for the Saints. Wombat has actually pulled out his knives. Why are you pulling out your knives on a round like this? Now, does he actually get his all used if he doesn't fire an actual knife off? No, I think once you if you get dropped with the blade, somewhere goes away. He popped it really early in the round, I'm pretty sure. So I think that's why he used it, because maybe the buy wasn't as crazy. I'm pretty sure as long as you pull the knives, if you die, it doesn't, I think it still takes it away. Casper does get the headshot. Kara trades him out. So Northeastern, once again, once they've committed to a plant and they've committed to a push, that's the problem with Haven too, right? You just can't commit five players to a site, because when it's only an a and B map, you can commit 5 to A and then just fully rotate to B. You have to kind of play a little bit of a split here on Haven and the offensive team is, if they're able to actually coordinate, they can almost always take advantage. In Northeastern, I think they've kind of figured that out and they're maybe onto something here. Yeah, they've really snuck out, uh, you know, St. Clair's tricks and uh, yeah, Bladestorm is gone whatnot. too. So. Yeah, so yeah, the Bladestorm is gone there for that one. So as soon as he did pull up those knives on a round, yeah. that maybe he wished he didn't as much yeah. now <laughs> looking back onto things. 3-3 three three scoreline, St. Clair is now going to be playing the defense here still on this match. And, and now, honestly, another very big mid push for Northeastern. Yeah, Casper going to be playing this short corner. Going to walk up through the owl drone, finds one, and going to hit the rendezvous. So really smart play by Casper. I thought he might get greedy and try to stay for two, but way to get the first kill and pop out of there. Going to take out the omen of Northeastern. Ionize on the off. Will find hybrid on the quick peek. And now going to be walking down C long here. Kara going to try to clear corners. Casper is sitting in the wings, trying to wait. Won't kill Jet as the dash. Ionize will fall. Tempest low HP as well in the back. Casper finds tags on another. Casper might be able to hold this by himself. Going to try to get a spray through the cage. Carrot will walk up and get the headshot. Will be low HP. Carrot finds another. Spike is going to go down. St. Clair does have the HP advantage, although the Cypher ulti does come through and they do get tagged, so they know oh. where St. Clair is now. That is huge. The Cypher ulti huge. changes everything there on this is. round. Tempest finds Wombat, and now it's all up to Blossom. They kind of know where he's located, but look at all these post plants. They're playing it perfectly. Blossom's forced into Carrot's line of sight, and it's going to give the round over to Northeastern. Three unanswered in their favor. Now a 4-3 to three score line. And I really thought that things were starting off nicely in that round. Casper got the entry frag, and I was like, okay, Saints, yeah. you, you got this one rolling here now. But it was all a downfall, and Hybrid made that quick little peek. They caught his shoulder out there, and then now it opens up the floodgates towards that B bomb site, and it just made things a little bit more difficult to defend. St. Clair, they need to find an answer. Yeah, Carrot once again just finding answers whenever, wherever, and however. Able to get that ultimate online mid-round, and that was actually huge because Northeastern had maybe 100 HP combined, if not less, between three players. So getting that information, absolutely critical. Blossom is going to try to flash out through series here. Not going to find anything. Going to send the Trailblazer once again. Going to be a pretty heavy C push action of Northeastern. Going to swing Casper once again. Wow. Finds a kill. Going to spray through the smoke. Won't find another, but we'll get darted out. Going to have to reload here. Only two bullets. Hybrid. Going to walk up with the Sheriff. Going to try to find a pick. We'll get tagged and walk away. Casper will find one more. Still swinging on the backside. Wombat finds one. Casper doing an excellent job holding the site. Will tag Sin down to very low HP. Tempest and Sin will both find headshots. So now 2v2. Very low HP once again for Northeastern. So Wombat. 
Gonna have to be smart here and try to take this trade. Gonna have to maybe wait for Blossom to try to collapse here. This could be very dangerous. Wombat will try to swing. Will get pushed out through Garage, actually. So Blossom may be able to try to push with Wombat here and make something happen. The bomb will get planted. So 2v2 with a pretty big HP advantage. Yeah, and, uh, you know... <sighs> This is a nice little interesting one way trying to catch up some feet. Blossom's got to find this player in the corner. No, Blossom, you will find it with a share. Okay, so he will regain. And Wombat will clean up the final one. But that was so close to, like, giving me a heart attack I for a hear, second. I want to say, I can hear us say, no, don't shoot at the dart. I can feel, I was like, you don't need to. The guy's right there. Yep, I can almost yep. feel it coming on already. Because he was, like, so close to actually seeing yep. his shoulder. If he took one more step to the right, he would have instead. He, he wouldn't have even yeah. looked at the dart. He would have just shot it. Um, but regardless... He will get the kill and will secure things a little bit more now for the Saints. A 4-4 four to four score line. We have four rounds remaining in this first initial half. And they're looking to find at least two of them. Yeah, this is exactly the kind of game three I expected. Especially considering how drastic those score lines looked in map one and map two. 4-4, four, four, about as even as you can get here. Gonna have a lot of ultimates online for both sides. Couple of omen teleports, tour de force, and seekers online. Casper won't use the tour de force yet. It's gonna go full rifles and full armor for the Saints. Northeastern going to go with the same strategy. Once again, gonna be a mid and C push. They seem to really enjoy that. A can be a little bit tricky to push, especially if someone's playing Heaven. Wow. Wombat will play Garage and find the headshot on Capture. So once again, St. Clair finding first blood, but but will they be able to hold the site a lot better than the last couple times? Because first blood, they kind of let it go to the wayside. Yeah, so 5 on 4 here still now in play for St. Clair. The dog is out for Blossom. Will pick up some intel. KO outside garage. The other three are all looking to head down into long here. Now, does Sage have the wall still? Yeah, Vcan does. That's yes. big. And he used it late in the round. So that's going to sit there until the last like 20 seconds yep. or so of the round. Very, very nice. Casper gets a Ooh. great deal of damage and will clean up Ionized Karar. We'll find Vcan. Casper falling shortly after. Okay, now we got a little bit more problems here. The Seekers are going to get their way through the wall here. Sage wall completely shot down early on. Still a 3v3. Health is in favor of your Saints. Sin Tines Wombat now with a rotation into mid is going to completely open things up. Hybrid is good for a trade, but look at This isn't on A anymore, guys. You got to rotate, and it is going to go all the way yep. to C, and St. Clair is not going to be able to get that Oh, the anytime. Omen Ultimate, though. Actually, V can't fake, though. However, that fake still probably got them the information they needed, so the spike hasn't been planted yet, and both Saints are going to be close to the seaside here, so maybe still a decent chance to play retake. Very low HP on Carrot as well for the side of Northeastern, so Blossom. Gonna try to flash out here. Carrot is waiting in window there. Gonna try to find a quick cross. V can. He will spray it. Oh! He will end up whiffing and hybrid finds the kill. Very, very lucky that Carrot whiffs. Shock darts will go on the bomb. The fuse will get stuck to half. Hybrid gonna hold that long. The fuse will get stuck. Oh! The defuse will St. Clair after a gift wrapped kill. Wow. Ends up throwing the round away anyways and Tempest holds. Beautiful of Northeastern there to commit on killing that defuse player. St. Clair goes down in that one, but a hybrid. It, it gives me like oh. flashbacks. You know, if a hybrid win a whiff last week, somebody will make a whiff on True. hybrid this week. It all evens up here now. Oh. So St. Clair gonna be trailing by a round one. They really wish they had back, but GG's the Northeastern. They're not gonna let hybrid just stick that bomb, but it was like 0.2 seconds. And I will say, maybe St. Clair is not even in that spot if that whiff doesn't come through. So maybe True. we'll call it a, maybe a one for one cancel out. But if you're St. Clair, that still doesn't make it hurt any less. You got a pretty, pretty mixed buy here. Sheriff, Frenzy, Shorty, not a whole lot going on. Vcan gonna try to hold this short angle. We'll get a cup, we'll get a dink with the headshot, but Kara, just a much power, much more powerful rifle. Ina is gonna get the spray out through the smoke. Northeastern does have sight control. They most likely get plant. Blossom gonna send the trailblazer out and try to find something. It will find a three on sight, though, so the dog getting a lot of information. Blossom is gonna get immediately pre-fired, though, so Northeastern definitely knows where St. Clair is trying to rotate from. It is 5v4. Do you have advantage? Casper trying to find something in heaven with his tour de force. Trying to find any angle. Capture will find Wombat, so just minute by minute here, St. Clair's chances are getting lower. Casper still trying to find something. I'm sure he knows one's in hell. He's got to try to find that lineup. Yeah, it is going to be Casper getting tagged out a little bit here. Now Blossom on the site, but everybody shooting at them. Casper goes down. Six to four after ten. St. Clair looking for at least one of the last two. Yeah, if you're St. Clair, Northeastern starting to kind of build some momentum here, and they're starting to look a lot better and play a lot more definitive with their site pushes and everything. So you really want to try to steal one of these. Let's say one of these next two, absolutely. You do not want to go down eight to four in the half. They only have the res online. Northeastern does have a lot of ultimates online. A lot of information. That Hunter's Jury and that's in that Cypher ult, man. You have a ton of information. So Northeastern gonna try to maybe play some pretty uh, pretty heavy psych control here. Blossom gonna have a Spectre, everybody else in the lobby, full rifles and full armor. So gonna be a battle of the wills here. Definitely will be here for sure. Casper out here 
over towards the corner side. The drone coming in to clear things out. It only spots one. They do not know Casper is over in the corner. They were, are going to get some tags with Hunter Fury. It will get the kill on the hybrid, but Casper, he does find his first kill down to 25, but he's healing up. Finds another kill. If he can find one more, but no, it will be the dart. Scanning him out, giving away his location. Now a three on three. Health will be in favor of St. Clair. The flash turned away from Vcan, but not enough. Sin and Tempest both finding kills. He's all up to Wombat, rotating from A, Northeastern, looking to push the scoreline now to seven. The Solva play, I cannot overstay. Wombat with a great little fadeaway headshot on Sin. Gonna try to get the spray to the wall, so 1v2, 10 HP, not looking good. Bladestorm is online. I definitely think it will not get popped. Spike will get planted by Tempest, so Wombat will have to try to play it out here. They, they have a pretty good idea of where he is, and they still have the Cypher all team. I'm sure they have a little bit more utility online, so Tempest gonna try it. They are gonna get the info. Shock Dart did go through, or actually Recon Dart did get the tag as well, so now they know where Wombat is, and he's have to try to figure out something. Will get swung, and Tempest Hunter's Fury kill, two recon darts result. I think he was a part of all five kills. He tagged out the yep. only kills he didn't get. Yeah, uh, it's very big from the Sova of Northeastern. Now, this is, I wouldn't say it's a must win, but if you want to have a good chance of, yeah, that's what I mean. If you want to have a chance of winning this game, you're going to want to win this yes. round. Or and probably the pistol. Yeah. So uh, these next two rounds are going to be some of the most important rounds that we are going to see in quite some time. Yeah, you need, you got to figure it out. Casper now having a really, really good game, but we need to see the rest of the team either maybe using the Sage Slows to set up a killer. I haven't seen a ton of utility use out of St. Clair. We've seen pretty good, like they, when they win gunfights, it all looks fine and dandy, but Bladestorm actually will get popped by Wombat, so maybe going to try to find something here. Northeastern does have a Black Pocket, Bladestorm, and the Cypher Alt as well, and in his last round, so I fully expect both of those to come online as well. Blossom, going to get the Bird Shadow, going to try to figure out something, but looks like it'll be a pretty heavy A push on the side of Northeastern. Perfect Ooh. paranoia to catch Wombat and the KO, and tags him. Shuts down the Bladestorm, does Carrot Finds too in Northeastern. Now with Psych Control, the Cypher all does come online, so they've got Psych Control information, and I'm assuming the bomb will be down shortly. Yeah, so here we are, Hybrid looking for something from above. He knows that someone's down below him there, just tries to find some of the shots, but nothing's gonna land. St. Clair still down a player, and that's gonna be one of the killers when it comes to finding the retake on this site. VCAN, he's gonna be probably one of the first ones in here with the Spectre. Oh, this is tough. Yeah, this is just this is such a hard position to be in to try to retake. This lineup oh. is so big. The recon dart gonna hurt things even more. A flashbang comes in. Casper's good for two. Ooh. Casper's good for a third, but it's a 1v1. He's gotta find the final kill. And no, just misses the sheriff's shot. And it's gonna provide the round for Northeastern. Eight to four halftime here, and a St. Clair is headed to the attack. Yeah, a little roller coaster. I was I was fully I accepted the fact that they lost that round. Casper bringing it back from the dead. Still ends up falling in the 1v1 with 10 HP. St. Clair. Northeastern are strung together now three or four rounds in a row. At least four. So if you're St. Clair, you have got to take pistol or take two of the next three because Northeastern has been rolling. Yeah, they have been rolling here for sure. It's going to be a few ghosts coming through. Actually, five ghosts on the lobby. Three frenzies. Two casuals. So No sheriffs. Yeah, ah. That's interesting here. You see, see some one. things yeah. have changed around. Oh my god, 15 assists on the KO. Oh my goodness. That's the flashes. Jeez. And that's the flashes and every, mainly the flashes. We've seen, yeah, we've seen flashes. We have seen a lot of nade tags though too. So he's just kind of getting it all done. That's the, the all around jack of all trades. St. Clair, gonna, VCAN, gonna try to get the tags out down to 10 HP. We'll tag up the jet a little bit. So pretty somewhat even trade. Tempest gonna get the shots into her. Wombat will end up finding the kill. Oh. Blossom swings through the smoke with Reckless Abandon finds the kill on Tempest. So maybe St. Clair, a little bit of good psych controller. Might be able to get the bomb done to make a little play here. Sin with the nade lineup though. Let's see where this lands. If it ends up getting any tags, Wombat will find the kill. Luckily, the nade actually will end up finding the tag on Hybrid 20 years after he threw it. Blossom finds the kill, so 4v1 for St. Clair and Northeastern. Just just all on Carrot now, and this is, a, this is pretty much impossible on Pistol. So now we know how he's getting all these assists. That was, <laughs> man, like, he thought, I thought the Dude. nade was gone into the ether, and it comes back down and hits Wombat in the head. You know, there's Call of Duty where you have your cross-map Tomahawks, yeah. and, Tom <laughs> and then, you know, then there's Valorant where you have your cross-map grenades, right? He's going to just lob, I didn't even look like he would lined it up, though. It looks like he just lobbed it up in the yeah, air like for the best, but perfect. it all works out. Hybrid will find the final kill. St. Clair will be pushed onto a fifth.
fifth round. And winning a pistol round will really help out their economy in the early or beginning stages of this half. Yeah, that's exactly how you want to attack a site if you're Sinclair. They didn't even really get first blood until they got onto site, but they just committed to a push. They, they threw everything they had at it. They just got the bomb down. Because when you get the plant down on Haven especially, it's so much easier to play a defensive, like to play the site defensively than it is to try and attack it. Once you get that bomb down, you can easily put the Sage slows. You can put the wall up on long. There's a lot more options, and Sinclair is going to stack pretty heavy on C here. Maybe send Casper to mid to flank, but pretty heavy stack up here for Sinclair. What is with Jets and their shorties? You see it here. Oh. them around. There's three. There's four. It's all up to one member of Northeaster. There's a cliff. That was the fastest round of Valorant that I have ever seen. That was eight seconds. And no Brimmy Stimmy. <laughs> and no Brimmy Stimmy, yeah. No Brimmy Stimmy at all, actually. Um, it's huge for St. Clair because now they just got their economy and essentially doubled it with a flawless round. And uh, St. Clair now only trailing by two. This is anybody's game to take. That was legitimately the fastest round I've ever seen, actually. Oh, 100%. I, I think I saw a clip of an A string VC that was like maybe 12 or 13 seconds, but that was, I think, especially, like I said, no Stimmy. They actually just... 5v5 A Ram C long and said, Alright, who's gonna win? St. Clair able to come out with a lot of lives still able. I think it was a flawless or a 4k, so. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Casper, 19 to 12, gonna be on the Bulldog, gonna be on the hero side. It's not a rifle, but it's a little of a half by Northeastern. Gonna try to get this one back now. St. Clair building a little bit of momentum, gonna try to take this bonus round and get this eco flowing. Yep. It's gonna be I and I's Ooh. lining some up, but V can will knock them on the ground. It's now going to be a five on four. Tempest in the smoke finds two. He's gonna be flashed, forced out down into long. Will he be chased? Yes, he will, but no kills for Blossom. Blossom gonna now flash it out once again. Goes for the swing, finds the kill, but he wasn't even flashed. No. Tempest almost could have had that kill. Sin looking to challenge it here from heaven, but that swamp grenade is gonna hurt V can. He makes it out after only getting tagged once. He will have to be replanting. Carrot gonna find a kill, a 2v3. And that is going to be Sin finding Blossom. You need to win that one. And now V can to do it all. We'll find the one. But capture there for the refrag. Northeastern will take their first round of the defending side. And now a 9-6 to six game here. And they're looking to pull away. Yeah, St. Clair, they will take the bonus round. St. Clair, excellent job of getting on site there once again. But... Just losing duels, honestly. It just came down. They just lost a couple gunfights. But how about Tempest to dodge that Blossom flash and almost end up swinging on him and, and getting the frag? Blossom, luckily, able to get that, that running spray onto the head. But St. Clair, they got good sight pressure. They just have to start winning these gunfights because having Carrot and Tempest get two, three kills around every time, you're just never going to find sustained success with it. Agreed here. So now here we go. Let's see. It's going to be the a lot of phantoms. Like, what's going on with the Vandal? The Vandal used to be so much more in I think it's, than it's map to map, because I, I think we saw a game the last week we played. I think there was 10 Vandals, and I think I may have asked the same question. Like, I wonder why it just preference just whatever it's the day weird. is, whatever the map. Yeah, it's very weird. It's one of those things we'll never really know the answer to. Tempest going to try to find the kill. We'll find the answer to Wombat Stash. Gets the headshot. So Northeastern with a great start. Blossom will trade out Sin. Blossom has him trapped in the corner. Finds a wall bank capture. We'll get the kill on Blossom. So a lot of action, and 3v3 will be the result of it. 3v2 now for St. Clair. Casper finds one more. Hybrid will get oh. traded out. So now do a 2v2 going tick for tack here. Casper gonna find one. Ionize finds one. Now we have Casper versus Ionize. Ionize with a excellent shot to the head. Drops Casper and picks up double digits for Northeastern. Yeah, the bomb was down there. And I don't know why Casper, maybe he just thought he was out of ammo or something. His best bet would have be challenging yeah. right away. But no, it's just not going to work out. And it's now going to put Northeastern for two in a row. This is not the time where you can really be affording to lose rounds like this. Yeah. Uh, you, you got to come back right here, right now. I mean, it's not going to be the best buy to do so, but we are actually going to be seeing a timeout from your Saints. I'm very happy about this. Yes. I think that this is a timeout that we should be seeing, and uh, it's definitely one that they need to slow things down and just talk about their economy a yeah. little bit because if you look at their economy right there, they're really in a pickle. Yeah, and I don't hate the timeout now. I honestly wouldn't even have hated it two rounds yeah, ago, right, right after halftime. I think a little earlier might have actually suited them better because now once, they, once you get to double digits in Valorant, man, that's when the game starts. You're in the end game like the team one or two more rounds one or two slip ups you mess up a blade storm you miss an ultimate and all of a sudden it's 11 and then it's 12 and then it's game over in St. Clair they have to find one of these next two because Northeastern is that the economy is just it's not there for St. Clair yeah the economy is really not so that's why I'm very interested St. Clair basically has two options buy out full with whatever you can and hope you win the round or save it onto the pistols and play for the next and either or oh. is not ideal yeah it's rocking a hard place man you you can invest it all and go for it and go for broke, but also if you end up losing that first then round, then the next two are cooked. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have zero eco. You're gonna be on sheriffs and frenzies trying to go up against full vandals and full rifles, and probably a couple ultimates as well. So Saint Clair, they have to use this utility to their wake because the guns just aren't there right now. They have to find value. But look at the ultimates; they have none online right now for Saint Clair. 
So I don't think we are going to be St. Clair seeing St. Clair buy here. No. So they're just going to stick with some light pistols by the looks of it. And uh, I think that we are going to be them trying to play for it. They're going to, sorry, they're going to try to play for uh, a save here and then yeah. try to win out after. Um, but still, I mean, it, it's really a coin flip on what you want to do in this round. So it does look like the save coming through and not a good start. As you see, a couple players from St. Clair taking some damage. And yeah, already I think the Hunter Sherry tagged a couple through the wall and then the Cypher ult as well. So they had a lot of information early round trying to get that early damage and Carrot able to get the headshot. And if you're Northeastern, not a bad strategy. If you know you can take out St. Clair pretty much in the early game and only maybe lose one gun, you set yourself up for an excellent way to finish this game. And so far, this round, they've done a flawless job of it. Only low health on Carrot on the Cypher, but St. Clair low health on Hybrid as well. So get to try to figure something out, Casper. Going to be lurking attacker side spawn with the Sheriff Tempest. Maybe you heard one or two there. Hybrid is there with Vcan, so going to have to try. Going to hit the backward shock dart down the ramp. Just not far enough, but pretty good idea there by Tempest. And there's just things you just wouldn't think of. Look at the Sova mains, just always new ways, man. Yeah, man. Cas uh, Sova mains don't look at the map like a map. They look at like a backboard <laughs> yeah, with like a constant backboard. <laughs> Everything is just a deflectible yeah. <laughs> source that you can stick stuff to. Um, but yeah, Sin here, he's been big on his flashes. Yes. Look at this. He's, he, he's going to find another one there. That's going to be a couple players now forced off the Ooh. pressure some good grenades and the utility and everything so good the judge, judge vegan a sage with the judge is literally me thank you vegan yeah <laughs> battle sage with the judge running in casper does find the headshot eight seconds spike does have to go down for st Clair, and it will just in the nick of time so Decently low HP for one of the members of Northeastern, but a couple oh. shots have to be at Vcan and Casper. Find two headshots. The slow comes through. Vcan unable to get the wall up. Casper will actually find the kill. So St. Clair, you don't care how you get it, but just steal one, and now it's 10 7. Vcan and Casper are the wow. duo today, man. Like, I mean, okay, Blossom also really high up there here in this game, but nowhere close to Casper. Casper having a game here today. Same with Carrot and Tempest. Uh, both players, all three players having a great game here in game number three. It all comes down to this. Vcan, he's definitely holding his own and he's definitely put St. Clair yeah, in this position. Yeah, too. Yeah, just the, the battle state, like, <laughs> running through smokes with the judges. Sage is just so sweet, man. It's, I don't know what it is, but some, it's almost like BM, but it's, you know, you gotta respect the battle sage. Gonna be a save coming through from Northeastern. They know Bladestorm will get popped, though, so only gonna be a little bit of a save. Gonna invest the ultimate Wombat. They are gonna full send it down C long. It's St. Clair. He will get paranoid in the Bladestorm. We'll end up getting the kill still. Wow. will trade him out, so not the end of the world if you're Sanker. Able to go two for one and get the Blitzum oh. offline. Tempest, right click through the smoke. Hybrid will trade him out. Now Vcan finds it, so 3v1 for St. Clair. And this is exactly the kind of round you had to go back to back on. Yeah, Carrot's left alone here in a one versus three. You know, Sage is a little bit tagged down, but just going to heal herself, yeah. as you would. Yeah. You know, you only, only heal yourself yeah, under of a course. Sage. You <laughs> only heal your but here we go. Um, Northeastern still just the Cypher left alone. Fires off some shots, but Casper will do it. That's going to be like his 26th kill, I think. Crazy stuff here from Casper. Yeah, 26 here now with 14 deaths. Nothing close uh, to him. It's going to be five kills above the closest kill leader in this yeah. game. And St. Clair will bring it back now with two in a row, only trailing two rounds to Northeastern. This is anybody's game. Yeah, and we're seeing now St. Clair, the utility, like the assist numbers have slowly climbed up because the utility use is finally there in second and third waves to set up people like Casper and Blossom to run in and get these frags. And now Northeastern, a little bit on the back foot. They are going to end up coming back with full rifles, but the way their economy is, a St. Clair can shut this down, man. Northeastern's going to be in a very, very tough spot. Yeah, so here we are. It is going to be the rush coming in over towards this site. So Wombat looking to shoot one down, find Sin, and he's going to be on the KO alt. Capture trying to trade things Ooh. out. No kills. Karak going to find one. Wombat good for a trade, but there's still one person backside. you got to find these kills. Tempest, Capture, fighting them all, and now it's all up to the Omen. That's going to be Vcan, I do believe. Oh, trying to find hybrid. something or hybrid. Oh. Yeah, sorry. We'll find one. Tempest there for the trade. And Tempest, the Sova on the back line, just having such an impact. Northeastern now up 11 to 8. But a quick little update on over from Saints Gaming C. Yeah, I did just hear in the back of my ears that yes. <laughs> Saints are going to be your NJC double AE champion. So congratulations to them. They're over on the main channel here right now. And uh, taking yeah, home the other the riot title. Yeah, yeah the, other, the other riot title over there. Okay, yeah, but congratulations to all of them on yes. the league team. Looking very, very good. Excited to see how the rest of their run goes. Because now they, they won their division, and now they were going to play in Seal all playoffs, yeah. I do believe. So looking very good. But back to this game. It's going to be three rounds just separating these two teams. And this is Ooh. Northeastern just trying to start things off. Ionized them, not able to hit the off shot. And Wombat will follow it up. Picks up the off, and no. Oh. 
He died because he picked up yes. that op, and that is yep. just unfortunate to see. But Blossom, good Great. for some trades, and now a 3v2 for St. Clair. Yeah, Blossom gonna find the kill on capture, so Trailblazers are gonna go through. Seekers did go out as well, so they have information now. They know one's in heaven, and they know one is in that connecting from B and, from, uh, B and A. Gonna try to hold here. Hybrid will find the kill on Sin in heaven, so just all off the carrot. No ultimate, not a lot of options here. He is gonna find a rifle, so gonna try to set something up here. We'll get flashed out in heaven. I'm pretty sure they have his number. Casper finds the headshot, and St. Clair slowly creeping back. It's getting a little bit closer, and this game is coming down to it. Yeah, so you missed the days where, uh, you know, it was an Ares main game. Uh, oh, the Ares, the five-man Ares spray, man. Four, it was like four days where you just straight up Ares only, and that is all it is to it. Um, and so now it will be knocked down, but uh, it, what a what a flashback there in time. Yeah. The Ares, what... <laughs> But here we are, five rifles for the Saints. And for the side of Northeastern, it doesn't look to be the case as much. Yeah, look at the pretty pretty minimal buy coming through. A couple of pistols, only going to be the hero rifle on Tempest. So the way he's been playing, I definitely don't hate that idea. They do have a Hunter's Fury and the Cypher Ultimate online. Sinclair does have a couple ultimates. Tempest, just on the hero rifle, will find an early kill. And Sinclair will take the rifle out of his hand. So now Sinclair definitely has weapons advantage. They need to make the hold. Vcan with a great job getting the rest. They play 5v4. Capture gets a trade. Carrot will get taken out. Hybrid finding two. Northeastern down. Ionized 24 HP. And then just KO with Sane alive as well. The trademark will come through and end up slowing him. So they will get the information they need in St. Clair. Excellent start to this 21st round so far. Yeah, Bomb Plant looking to go down over on C, and it should be fairly successful. Now, what can the pistols really do of Northeastern? Not a whole lot. And the HP. Yeah, so Casper, especially even here, cutting off rotations as well, going to be so big. Sin, they know he's up here. He's shooting off a couple of pistol bullets, and he actually will spot B can B can swings, will still find That's the kill. Close. And uh, yeah, that's going to be St. Clair with round number 10. Only one round between these two teams. This is so close. So you want to play Playoff Valorant, huh? This is exactly what we suspected we'd see map three. Two ultimates apiece now online. Going to see pretty much a full buy from both teams. 11 to 10 now. These next three, four rounds are going to be the decider of either we're going into overtime or St. Clair able to bring it back from being down. I think it was like 10 to 6 at one point. So mm. winning four out of the last five, I believe, at this point. And St. Clair just looking pretty, pretty solid. It was 10 to 6. Yeah. Like, wow. Things got bad, man. I didn't think that. Oh, well, I didn't think Sinclair's won four of the last five. Like, yeah. now they, like now that I think about it, I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe they have. They piece so. it together, yeah, way by way, but just glue and tape, but somewhat still holding it together. 5v5, gonna start round 22 coming up here. Wombat gonna try to walk through a bit. St. Clair gonna wall off the half side of B, gonna get full B control, and they're gonna get plant down. Hunter's Jury will oh. come online and find tags. If you know Tempest, you know he's probably gonna find some tags here. Actually, maybe only wow. finds one tank, but probably the least information he's gotten out of the Fury so far. So, St. Clair able to get a second chance here and actually get the plant down with minimal HP being lost. The Paranoia will come through. Sin going to load up these KO flashes and get ready to push, but St. Clair have to be ready. Owl Drone will come through. Blossom gets tagged out. Ooh. Blossom will walk back through mid and just escape. Double smoke's coming through. This is going to be a lot of utility. Hybrid finds a kill on capture, and both teams just still fighting to get this, this plant. Big thing is that Ionize and Sin are and Tempest all in sight here now. Vcan is good for a trade, but they're all around. Ooh. Casper's good for one more. We're in a 3v2, but the Diffuse is starting to get stuck. Actually, no, not sticked here now as of yet. And St. Clair just playing post plans. Do you have Toward utility? Oh, Casper finds the kill through the jet smoke on the spike. Excellent job of Sam. And Casper goes skeet shooting to find his third of the round. 11 11 for St. Clair. They are right back in it. This was a four-round differential between these two teams just moments ago. Here we are, 22 of our 24 rounds in, in regulation. Your St. Clair Saints are going to tie things up against Northeastern. It does not get more important than this. And oh look at God. the buy on Northeastern. One Vandal, four Sheriffs, St. Clair. You have to win this, this round. This is five rifles, full armor. There is no excuse to lose this. Not only must you win, there's no excuse to lose this round. Oh, Tempest with the early shots are really weak. I'm going to try to find some. They are going to get the push. Ionize is going to use the smoke. Try to get that Sheriff short. Is going to find a couple tags, maybe. Blossom gets turned around, and Tempest finds the easy kill. Sangler going to flood site. Casper finds one. They're going to try to hold in sewer. They will get plant down, so... Low HP for Casper and St. Clair losing a gun early. Not the start you wanted, but at least the spike is down and they can play control now. Yeah, Northeastern will have two rifles, but Tempest will fall. So now a 4v3. You do have the riflery advantage, but there it is. A good trade. And Vikan's good for two. It's all up to the last member of Northeastern. Your Saints are going to be on match point over Northeastern. A 12 to 11 scoreline. This last round determines if we're going to OT map three or if we are going to see the Saints end it in regulation and win 13 to 11 to go oh. into the top eight. Jobin, 
It, it, this is stressful. The unstoppable force and the immovable object. Only one ultimate online apiece. 12-11. Full rifles. Full armor. This is going to be the decider. Does St. Clair move on to the Elite Eight? Or does Northeastern push this into overtime on Map 3 Haven? We're about to get underway capture. Going to try to get that. Jump up on the box. Try to find an early kill. Going to just back off and not risk anything. Both teams, you know, every life so valuable. Boss will take out St. Great start. We'll get on site. Wombat will we'll get killed. Capture finds a kill. Wombat trades him out. 4v3 for St. Clair. They do have site control. They can probably get the spike down here. Wombat going to have to try to get plant down. Carrot going to be rotating through garage. Try to find something through window. We'll get the shock dart kill on Wombat. Wombat once again, Tempest finding too much. Rendezvous will go through Blossom. Got to try to get plant. Ionize only at 30 HP. It is a 3v3. Ionize trying to find. There's the Wombat burn on Hydra finds a kill. Only two left. Blossom finds it. Only one left. Carrot alive. Cypher all does get popped. Information's given. He's trying to find them. He's got two scan, but he can't move. He will get the kill on Casper. He finds one. Looking to find the other. 1v1. St. Clair. If Hybrid can win this, they will move on to the Elite Eight Hybrid. Trying to find them. And he wins! With the comeback in map three on Haven. We'll move oh on to the God. Elite Eight and Nace. This was a 10 to 6 game. Your Saints come back. Ended in regulation and a 13 to 11 to score line. We'll end things out here. Your St. Clair Saints are headed to the top eight in your Nace Star League playoffs what a game and hybrid the 1v1 win oh will make my goodness up for the whip <laughs> absolute insane way for st Clair to close that game oh. it looked like they were down something fierce when it was 10 to 6 and they roar back and take seven out of the next 12 or wow. seven out of the next nine rounds i think able to close it out we saw 13-1 13-2 and then 13-11 so far different map three but what a result what a result indeed. My heart is pounding. I am shaking. Your Saints will go to play for top four at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Oh. And it is going to be a bloodbath. I believe it's 3 p.m. tomorrow. I yeah. don't, don't quote Double me, but I'm almost 100% yeah. certain. Yeah. Um, but follow Saints Gaming C on all socials for updates. But with that being said, oh my goodness. My heart, I'm, I, oh, I need to sit after. Dude, oh this is God. just Valorant. Like, Valorant just does this to us every like, single literally time. Literally, it goes from 13-1, 13-2, and then we have that of the same two teams. Yeah, like, it's like, how can you have this in the same game? What was that series? That like, two blowouts for different teams, and then a, the game of our series. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> one, yeah, one of the games of the season just... Wow. Might as well have just made that a best of one. Like. Honestly, yeah, straight up. <laughs> but with that being said, huge congratulations to both, both teams. Northeastern, I have to give fight. you guys credit. You guys are a phenomenal school. Played that one so, so well. And I would love to see a rematch between these two teams somewhere in the near future. Tempest on that solo, we have to give a little shout out. Oh, Dude, for sure. where did you learn those lineups and why are you so good? Just every single time he... I think he had legitimately like 10 to 15 kills with Shock Darts and Hunter Stray, which is like obscene. Yeah. It, Just it too much. Crazy. So, Saints, we had two games today. And uh, you have the uh, Saints and the NJ. They're going to 3-0 win over there. You have us over here with a 2-1 win. A lot win. more theatrics on this end of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For better or worse. Yep. And uh, with that one being said, though, congratulations to both teams. You'll get more Saints Valorant action here soon as they are headed to the quarterfinals yes. here right now. So make sure you guys are staying in the loop for that one, staying updated on everything. But with that being said, and staying updated on everything, why don't you guys go check out our TikTok? We have a new Ooh. giveaway here now, actually up as of lately. You guys can win a 50 dollar steam gift card all you got to do is follow our twitter and our tiktok tag one friend and like and retweet our pin tweet you can do exclamation mark giveaway in the chat actually i don't know if you can on saints gaming sometimes CA too. yeah oh yeah we're on the two yeah yeah so but like and retweet the post that will be our pin tweet on the saints gaming ca twitter uh follow our twitter and our tiktok and then tag one friend on that tweet you will be automatically entered in for a 50 dollar steam gift card the winner drawn and actually just a few days five days yeah we're getting to the end of march already time is flying man as these seasons go oh my goodness yeah. Can't playoffs playoffs just make me uh just go 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 go, go fly, right man, yeah it just flies <laughs> through but something that's actually uh good that time is flying by academy sooner Ooh. will be coming to light and will be starting up soon not just academy but more or less just recruiting for everything yeah. in fall of 2022 to 2023 in varsity we got 100% tuition scholarships up to 100% 100% tuition available to keep 100% of your winnings as well training facilities and a competitive and am experience is a plus for you if yeah. you're looking to join varsity academy though we are got so many growth opportunities down there 50 scholarship positions a ton of esports even if it's not included as of yet you can still apply and then all players are welcome to join regardless of yes. the rank and uh that is exactly what we're looking to do build some growth there in our academy more farm type system yeah so it's going to be looking very very good in that regard of course and we have to thank our other lovely sponsors starting with Crunchyroll. say they've been around for a couple months but they're the largest anime and manga streaming platform in the world you know the funimation library is getting added april 1st so if two-week trial wasn't enough it definitely won't be enough for the coming days you can get that 14-day free trial at crunchyroll.com backslash saints 
such a huge library. You will never get bored of Crunchyroll. We love them and thank them so, so much. Yeah, and we can't forget about any of our other sponsors here as well. So say thank you to the St. Clair SRC, the Tim Hortons, the Subway, the St. Clair College Alumni Association, and the St. Clair College Ezekiel School of Business. Yes. Wouldn't be able to do it without you guys, as well as you viewers back at home. Thanks for tuning in for an amazing matchup here today between these two teams. Would not be possible without you guys as well. And if you guys are looking to support the Saints even maybe just a little bit further, you could actually get some of the uh, apparel that we're wearing right now. So I got the jacket on, he's got the jersey on, he got the mask on as well. I got the dad hat on. Back <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> but uh, it is going to be the Saints merch store here now. We got t-shirts, jackets, jerseys, crewnecks, hoodies, uh, masks, flags, anything you can imagine will be on the Saints merch shop at acquire.ca backslash Saints. All very comfortable and very affordable. Get your merch today if you're looking to support the Saints further. Acquire.ca backslash Saints if you guys are interested. Absolutely, yeah. My only final thought is, man, if we keep watching games like this, I'm going to be dead at 25. <laughs> I can't keep, my heart cannot take all this week to week, but no. we should be back tomorrow, I think, right, for the uh, the Elite yeah, Eight? Yeah, yeah, we should be back for tomorrow. I personally, unfortunately, won't be able to make it onto the here. mic there, um, but I will definitely be keeping an eye on this game because I want to see what is exactly going to happen. I actually will take a little bit of a peek here, um, you know, when we go off and figure out who our opponent yeah. is, so we'll have that information we for tomorrow. Scouting. Stay tuned on our Twitter because yes. all of our information will be on there. If you want to see who we're playing tomorrow, what time the game is at, uh, if it is even tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost certain it is tomorrow, though. Yeah, that's what it um, seems like. And with that being said, uh, GG's to Northeastern, man. You guys played one hell of a game, and uh, both teams are both of deserving to go into the next round. Yeah, that's it sucks only one can go. Thankfully for us, it was St. Clair's Day, and what a series, and on to the Elite Eight, baby. Yeah, on to the Elite Eight. With that being said, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. My name is Jackson the Pride Brown, joined alongside Daniel Jobin, and behind the scenes, thank you to John Bilbangs with Dima. So, guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in today's broadcast. We'll be back with some more action, I believe, tomorrow. So, Hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, catch you guys all later. Has this ever happened to you? You tune in to watch Saints Gaming compete at your... But you end up... And it looks like there's no easy way to find out everything you've missed. Luckily, there's a solution. Hi, Millie Bays here, and I'd like to introduce you to St. Clair's Bird's Eye View, the number one show to keep up with everything about Saints Gaming. Get weekly recaps, see great highlights, hear exclusive interviews with players and staff, and so much more. That's Bird's Eye View, available in podcast or video form at a website near you.